This is gonna be the outfit I beat Dawn Trail in. I look very smart and put together. <laughs> okay, let me um, finish this. Okay. Since then, um, I think we are currently. What are we currently doing? Oops, I have all this hidden. Um, one second. Let me also. I want to like zoom in to make this more easily viewable. Let's do that and that. Yeah. There we go. So smart, so adventurous. <laughs> Started in, what is that, Oren? You're naming all these games I don't think I've ever heard of. Okay, let's head to, okay, so just heads up, we are near the very end, not very end, end of Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, which means, what level are we on? Oh, we're on level 100. Here, I'll just say level 100 in this queue. <laughs> There we go, I updated my title. So we are in an area called uh, Living Memory. We got there yesterday. Um, not yesterday, last stream. We got to Living Memory last stream. And it's a very interesting world. So if you've been following along with my playthrough, um, you, we basically come to understand who the Alexandrians are and the different types of citizens in Alexandria. We also learned about the queen, and um, every not everything about the queen, but majority about the queen, how much she loves her citizens. But she's also something called an endless, which is basically a person, I don't even know if you would call him a person, we'll call him like a robot. A robot that has the memories, the soul, I guess you could say, of the person that's passed away. So, the queen passed away a long time ago. However, they extracted her memories so that she could live on forever. And they didn't just stop there with the queen. They've also done that to all the um, passed away citizens of Alexandria. And when they pass away, they go to a place called Living Memory. Yeah, so like a living memory, exactly. So everybody here have all been deceased already but it's their memory that lives on and it's it's a sweet i think it's a sweet idea um because basically you can meet and uh you can meet people who probably have passed away and you can basically see them again in living memory right and there's kind of like this really interesting algorithm from what I can remember. There's an algorithm that basically will pair people together um, like when one of them passes away. Uh, so <laughs> it's very interesting. Like we did a, I did a quest, I think it was a side quest. Um, or no, I think it was part of the main quest, I can't remember. I think it was a part of the main quest, yeah. So we basically had to help this one guy find his engagement ring because he lost it because he's been waiting for a really long time to see his love because she, you know, finally she passes away. And she, they also said in like the story that she also never really married again, even though she didn't really know who he, who he was. She just kind of had that feeling that she had a special person, so she didn't want to ever marry again um, because he passed away young. But anyways, it's just like a really sweet idea behind it however 
the queen, to sustain their life and living memory, the queen took on a role of basically killing other people to sustain the people who've already passed away. Um, so that's why you see her kind of pair up with um, the First Promise and want to kill the people of Tuliolo because that's, they have to have souls to keep on living. And like that's the really messed up part about this, right? Um, but obviously us were like, that's not right. You shouldn't take you know, the soul of an actual living person who hasn't experienced life yet and give it to somebody who has, right? Um, and that's not, not necessarily true because, you know, obviously some people have passed away pretty early on in Alexandria, so it's, anyways. However, a lot of the people in Alexandria don't want that. They don't want to keep living and know that the reason why they're alive is because somebody had to pass away for them, right? So what, what we've been doing is kind of deactivating these centers where their memories are held. So we've already done the canal area. There's four areas. Um, we did the canal area. This one made me cry like a baby. Um, <clears throat> Cause we got to, to meet uh, Wuklamat's nanny, um, Namika, because she was, we see her again. Oh my God, that made me cry so hard though. Um, but basically we already deactivated the area, so all the memories of the people that were stored, I forgot what this thing is called. I'm just gonna call it the memory USB, because <laughs> we de deactivated the wind USB, I don't, I don't really know how we would call it, but let me move, hold on one second, it's gonna bother me. Okay. Um, but yeah. And then we also did Disneyland. I'm calling it Disneyland. There's another area we deactivated, and it looks like Disneyland. But it was basically where like the children stayed, like the the endless the children that were endless, which is really sad. Um, we deactivated their park, their memory. So that's why it's all black and lifeless and there's no lights on or anything because we just finished these two areas so next um i don't know what the next one is i think i think it's the volcano one um yeah or maybe we yeah i don't know but there's a there's a couple crazy things that are probably going to happen really soon like we still have to deactivate the tower where aaron bell's mom mom's memories are located so that's gonna be really hard because that's his mom he's gonna have to unfortunately wipe so that's sad this is kind of depressing welcome to final fantasy 14. <laughs> unfortunately uh some things are really sad <laughs> so yeah um where do we have to go where is this the sanctuary of the strong where is what is this is the Disneyland? I think we have to go back here. They have a lot of really powerful moments in some of the uh, expansions. And they're very unique in how they tell the stories. Um, I don't, I don't, how do I get back over there? Do I need to talk to this gate person? I think I do. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure. But anyways, that's a recap. It's a short recap, but I think that's a pretty good recap of what's um, been happening in this area. Is there a way I can, like, fast travel over there? Okay, no, there's not. So, I'll walk. Hi, Zumi. Hi, baby. Ooh, I know. I'm gonna need cat cuddles today, probably. We also haven't met, um, or we haven't seen, rather, Kryle's parents. I don't know if there's still here? I'm assuming they are. So, we'll see. There should be an eighth. Oh, I guess I just don't see it. I don't know. Is the story really good? If you never cry, you don't have to cry for the story to be good. Um, 
I tear it up. I don't think I've cried as much as I have in previous expansions. There have been some really sad moments, but nothing like in Walker. Nor did I expect it to be like in Walker, right? In Walker was on a whole nother level um, because it was just the uh, the accumu accumulation of ten years. So that's kind of hard to that's kind of hard to do. Oh, I have to wait. I'm going the wrong way. I oh, I think I have to go around here. It's kind of hard to, to do that all again. You have to build it up. You have to build it up with all the characters. So, that's what Dawn Trail is. If you don't cry at all in 14, you might be dead inside or a robot. <laughs> that's not true. That's what people just aren't. They just don't cry. Like, they'll be sad. This crying is like a whole other thing, right? Dawn Trail's a new beginning. Exactly. Hey! Stop that! Trying to run away here. Oh wait, I could probably use a mount, huh? Oh, well I can't right now. Thanks, Devin. There we go. Okay, I can use a mount. Whoops. Forgot about that. I think a lot of people did forget about that, about how Dawn Trail is kind of the new beginning. Cause some, for some of the stuff that I've, oh my god, why are the Paisa doing here? Um, for some of this, some of this stuff you have to build it up again, that's exactly what they're doing. Some of the reviews I read, they're like, it's not as good as in, in Walker, and it's like, well no. No poop, Sherlock! I can't say the other thing, but you know what I mean? I see those reviews, and I'm just like, come on. I try not to look at the reviews, because I, I don't want spoilers. <laughs> Luck luckily, I've been um, pretty lucky with that. Thank you guys for the follows, I appreciate it. You're in the exact same part of the story? Oh boy. Good luck to us, Ragzi. <laughs> Good luck to us. A lot of people seem to forget this is a new story arc. Um, it's either they forget or they just didn't know. I think maybe a lot of people didn't, don't know. No, no, I think a lot of people know. They just forget. All right, let's talk to Kakiwa. Sanctuary of the Strong. Ooh, direct hit. Okay. So far there appears to be no change with the meso terminal, so let's take the opportunity to visit another zone. A Sally Volcani. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say that. Um, in the northeast. The place with the volcano, eh? And I suppose we're using the zip line again. You know it, like before, I'll take care of the guard at the gate of remembrance. Let's just head let's head back. Everything has to be even better than ever and bigger and more complicated always. Always. Of course. Fun. Probably the same people complaining duties are too hard now. They're hard? They've always been difficult. What are they talking about? They're harder in this expansion? Which duty are they referring to? Like, the trial? Like, the trials? There's only two that are kind of ridiculous. Which ones? Have I done it? Maybe I haven't done it yet. Maybe it's a spoiler. Wee, wee, wee. I also really like Wook Lamette's character. I like how positive she is. I like playing games that have a character like that. This makes me feel better. What am I doing? I need to fast travel. What are the post-story dungeons in the second normal raid? Really? Ooh, I'm excited to do the normal raid? Ooh, I'm excited to try that. That'll be fun. I want to pay attention to the story too for the normal raid. Even though I'll forget. <laughs> I think. Or hopefully I won't forget. Does it conclude? It won't conclude until the next patches. Yeah, because we have more, so, duh. All right, let's continue. 
Dauntless Adventurers, I bid you welcome to the volcano, the sanctuary of the strong. Fight with courage and honor that your legend may resound forevermore in the arena of valor. Oh. Arena of valor. Cool. That's what they're called, terminals, right? Uh, you can get to it via the caverns that run through the volcano. I'll go on ahead and wait for you. Take care around the wildlife now. The fact that there are wildlife here, you're like, what? But obviously they have to. Hey, Aaronville, I'll explore alone. You needn't worry. I'll give the wildlife a wide berth. Uh oh. Aw, super worried. Poor Annabelle, he's still coming to terms with it. Yeah! You can hardly blame him. Let's leave him be for now. Poor Annabelle. Oh, the main gripe is that your character isn't the main character? Ah, uh, yeah, I have seen that. That's like the biggest gripe. That's true, that's true. Which is unfortunate. I don't mind actually taking a back seat. I think this is better for, for me, honestly, but I don't know, it's just my opinion. Come on, let's get moving ourselves. We'll take we'll take the front seat in the in a little in you know, in this expansion. Or in the next few expansions. Let's give everybody else a chance to drive. <clears throat> Though I don't know if we'll see are we gonna see more of Oklahoma? I don't know. Um, hello. Oh, do I just go in? Look at the little lala fails. Hello, guys. The thing I like the most about being a lala fell is random people just come up to you and just pat you on the head. Just randomly. Just because even other lala fells. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so cute, though. I like it. I didn't compare it to Endwalker or Shadowbringers. I thought it was on par with Stormblood. I, the problem is I wish I could remember what Stormblood was like, because it's been so long. But, yeah, I just kind of like Stormblood, I guess. I don't know about Heaven Sword. Watching Llama Tree grow is wholesome. It is wholesome. All right, are we ready? What's that way? It looks like we have two paths to choose from. I thought I saw Kafkiwa heading left, though. Well, that would seem to be a detour. I must say I'd ra I'm rather curious about that round building over here. Well, I'll, I'm always up for the scenic route. Let's follow after Kafkiwa and see what the building's about. It's about time the characters like like Kryle and Wuklamat have a chance to shine since the player's character and the Scions are we already got their time in the spotlight. We'll have it again. It's gotta get there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the direction that they'll go. That's the exciting part though. If it's pr too predictable, then it's not that fun, right? 
There are pretty there are some pretty predictable things in this expansion though that I guessed right. Made me feel smart. I was like, oh look, I guessed it. Well now, look who came this way too. Great minds, as they say. This appears to be a fighting arena. It is also a recreation of an actual place. In all likelihood, while I don't know the details, I understand such facilities were once common across the land. Though it's closed at the moment, even Solution 9 has the Arcadian. <gasps> and the Arcadian is the normal raid, right? Arcadian? It may well be a legacy of the past. Anyway, it seems the next match is going to begin, as I've already uh, spectated my fill. I will move on, but you ought to head inside for a look the raid how exciting it's like an arena <laughs> how cool Ooh. <clears throat> oh one second house is full of others thank you you're so sweet give me one second after this cutscene oh two lola fells There's only some people here. I'll watch them. Ooh. Ooh, scholar versus scholar. Or maybe summoner? Is that a summoner? Looks like a. I can't tell. <laughs> I should tell. <laughs> Are they using ruin? Oh! <laughs> this is more Final Fantasy IX music? I like it. <laughs> that poor Lala fell. That rather resembles Arcanema. Wouldn't you agree? Arcanema. Indeed. While similar arts could have developed independently across reflections, this verges on being identical. <laughs> I'm done. I win. There's so many Lalafells here. <laughs> Uh, is that her parents? Oh! I knew the little head thing looked familiar. Oh my god, don't tell me this is... Is something wrong? Oh no. <laughs> this is where we meet Kryle's family. What? Oh, no. oh god. The little head thing, their hair. No, the little, like... Just the, how the hairstyle is. Little volcano. Oh! Do we know each other from somewhere? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Wait, do they not remember her? Well, oh, oh. Come on, dear! Oh, I'm sorry, but I must be going. Wait, please! You're new here, I gather. It may seem strange at first, but give it time. You'll grow accustomed to it soon enough. What? Grow accustomed to what? No, 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 I, I'm not. Uh, rather, I'm... Uh, oh, what can I say? Oh. Of course. This earring, do you recognize it? Impossible. <gasps> Ooh! My name is Kryle. When I was a baby, I was taken from this world to another, where I grew up without knowledge of my past. I know not how much time has passed for you, and, uh, the things may not be as you expect them to be, but I'm here now. 
I found my way back. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> this earring, it contained a code with which I was able to reopen the gate. And I did. And I'm here. And... Could it be as she claims? She's not lying. I can tell. And there is no mistaking the earring. Darling daughter. Oh, <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh, I'm so happy they remember or no. Oh, cry all. Oh, the way Lala felt. It has hugged. been 20 years. But also, this is... <laughs> this uh, is yes, sad. names. I'm Robor, and this is Alila, your mother. Robor and Alila? That's so... Oh my god, I love the mom's name, Alila. I'm not even that far into the game. I just got to... Oh, you mean Bloodborne? I love... Oh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> what? Alila! Robor and Alila. Doubtless we have a mountain of questions for each other, but perhaps we can take this somewhere quieter? The Heat Wells, for instance. There's a spot there where we can relax and chat. Man. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. the system orchestrated this reunion as well forgive me this is all so much to take in i'm struggling to collect my thoughts no worries girl no worries oh. how's this loyalist thank you for the 23 months so really appreciate you hope you're having a good sunday yeah i know good to see you mom and dad well time to shut it down uh, man, I thought the Mika's was sad. I'm, am I gonna be able to keep it together for cryo? I will. It'll be f the taste of the taste of family. Just a taste. It tastes like depression. Coping way. <laughs> All right. I feel a little calmer now. I thought myself prepared for the possibility, but to actually come face to face with my parents was overwhelming. And having been parted from them as an infant, I'm not sure how to behave. Take your time. After everything that has happened, you deserve to do so. You have many things to say to one another. Now you can say them. Does she have like a list? Like how do you, how? What would what do you talk about? Like, how, right? And do they know what's happening? I don't think the kids knew at yester, whatever, yesteryear, whatever it was called. I, think, I don't think the kids knew. The first area they knew that they were going to shut it down. I don't think they wanted to freak out the kids, so. I don't know. I don't know. Indeed, this is a meeting to be cherished. Just do what comes natural, eh? Oh. Thank you, everyone. I'll make the most of our time together. Don't tell me we're gonna... Are we gonna see their meeting? 
I feel like it should just be between Cryo and her parents, right? We shouldn't be like hovering, right? This is like the worst hovering. Thing. I don't know. Hi, Jai. Good morning. I know, right, Bapple? Thanks, Phil, for the follow. <laughs> we eat potatoes. <laughs> the taste of family. Stop it. Stop it. Where am I going? Oh, okay. A nice place. You know, Aaronville has the longest to be able to come to terms to this. Or, not really that long either, but, you know. Man, it's been Wuklamat and Kryl and Aaronville all had to lose something here. Ugh! change after this so we'll see oh she's talking to them oh good we're not hovering well, we're hovering but we're distance hovering oh it's such a strange feeling to be reunited with you beyond death your companions what are they called oh dear I completely forgot to introduce them <gasps> she forgot to introduce me over here is Wuklumat, Vow of Resolve of Tuliolo. Besides her, beside her is Grahatia, my colleague and the students of Valdesian. And me. And this is Miss, an adventurer, though that hardly does her justice. She is the most dependable of friends to whom I owe my life. <laughs> what about everybody else? She's not going to be able to introduce a Stinian or, you, you know, Yashtola or anybody else. Like, wouldn't she want to... You know, I don't know. My word, we clearly have a great deal of things to give, don't we, dear? I want to hear their voices again. Oh, uh, yes, yes we do. Our heartfelt gratitude to you all. Aww. Oh. Not the smoothest of beginnings, is it? If only we had some... I forgot how to pronounce this. It's Bill to ease the way, am I right? Oh, wait, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh no. Hey, are you hungry? We can bring you something to eat if you like. Oh, uh, thank you, but we're fine. You know, it's quite hot here by the springs. <gasps> Something cold would be lovely. Ice cream. Understood, we'll fetch you all treats that'll help cool you off. I wouldn't want to be a bother, but... <laughs> Look how sweet she is. <laughs> She's like, I want to help in some way, shape, or form. So food! Think nothing of it. This is what friends are for. Thank you. We shall look forward to the cool treats. Aw, can you have some ice cream while meeting your long-lost parents? How nice. Also, I love her name, Alila. I don't know if I've, I've ever met somebody with that name, Alila. It's pretty. Y'all know an Alila? That was well-conceived, Wuklamat. Hee <laughs> hee, just putting what I learned in Yachtel to use. If I had to mention a potential problem, however, is it 
It is. That food here tastes like nothing to the living. Seriously? I had no idea. Still, it appears to be perfect, perfectly enjoyable for the Endless. And going along with the idea, Cryo likely understands this. It may not under it may not instantly break the ice, but I'm hopeful that it will help to thaw it. So shall we split up and look for what Alila requested? Something cold, ironically. This is supposed to be a special moment, so I say we go with the best treat there is. One that'll leave an impression. The locals ought to have ought to be able to recommend something. If you wanted to ask people near the Aetherite, Ms. Grahati and I will do the same elsewhere. Oh, Jima, thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Uh, oh, I have to go this way. Okay. All right, let's go look for. Wait, how do I get over there? Well, I guess I have to go around. Okay. Ice cream. Wait, how do I? Do I, can I jump over? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, where? Oh. Whee. I don't think, have I attuned here? I don't think I have. Let me attune here. Nice. Tuning. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, indecisive man. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What snack to have today? Hey, you want a recommendation for something tasty and cold? This stall doesn't have that sort of thing, I'm afraid. But speaking of something cold, I could use an iced drink with my snack. I think I'll get a coffee. Actually, a tea might be better, or even a lemonade. Ah, uh, but I can't go past a beer. Yes, let's make it a white beer today. Okay. Beer. Okay, that's an idea. A cold treat that will leave an impression. That's a difficult one. A Sile Volcane is home to fighters, so the food here is mostly the hearty and filling kind. All right, there's a popular stall to the southwest that might just have what you're after. Why don't you go and take a look? South. Lord Men. Woo! After a long hot soak like that, I'm going to need a, a Gold Star ice cream. What? You don't know Gold Star ice cream? It's only the most popular treat here. Uh, well, it's a little tricky to tuck into. You can't come here and not try it. There's a stall just to the southwest, so you have no excuses. All right, to the southwest. Gold Star Ice Cream. Hey, West Coast. Good morning. Was the NPC's name Florida Man? No. <laughs> it was Florid, but it did sound like that, didn't it? Florid. That's funny. Flavian. Wait, is this the, oh, ice cream vendor. Yeah, so you're here too. Everyone I spoke with recommended Gold Star ice cream. Those colorful balls stacked on top of each other, that would be the ice cream I take it. I can see the appeal, but it's going to be harder to deliver intact. Deliver it intact. We need three servings, so let's get Graha to help carry one. All right, you're talking to the transportation expert. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean you want to do it? I mean, you can do it alone? Well, there do seem to be vessels for carrying three. Are you sure about this? Oh no, they're gonna melt. Great, they're definitely safer in your hands than in mine. I'll go and tell Graha everything's taken care of. See you back at the springs. Can I use magic to keep it cold? Hello there, would you care for our famous gold star ice cream? Look at it. That's that's cool looking. All right, three servings coming right up. 
Here you are. You'll want to do to be quick so it doesn't melt, but also careful so it doesn't collapse. Good luck and enjoy. Deliver the ice cream to Kral before the time runs out. You have two minutes and five seconds to complete the task. Should you fail, return to the starting location and begin anew. That's very specific. Oh my god, look at the ice cream! Oh my god! Wait, it looks so cute! Wait, what am I supposed to do? I have to get there. I just have to do the time limit. What if I. It won't fall, will it? No, I'll be fine. This is easy. Yeah, look, easy! Oh, look it. Hold on. I want a screenshot of the ice cream. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I want this screenshot. Anybody want some ice cream? <laughs> wait, that's so cute. Okay, let me see. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, Cryo. Here's your ice cream. Oh, hurry before it melts, actually. <laughs> it's one third your body size, I know, right? Goodness me, what an amazing looking treat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't trip. Oh. Oh my god, they're huge. Is that really going to not taste like anything? Oh. Never did we imagine that such a reward awaited us. Isn't that so, Robo? You would think they would have had this before, right? <laughs> How long have they been here? Uh, yes. Maybe not that long. Maybe the AI only just now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't mind your father. Like me, he's still getting used to seeing you all grown up. Aww. Lollafell's confirmed me the height of two ice cream cones. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh oh, is right. I yeah, know. What's wrong, Cryo? You're not eating your gold uh, star ice cream. This is just excruciating. Yes, well, a 20 year blank is not so quickly filled. Even so, there's got to be something we can do. Yeah, you I know, don't know. I think I might have an idea. Oh, what is this silly music playing during such a... <laughs> this is such a hard time. <laughs> uh oh, what is he doing? Oh, Raha? What? What? What is he doing? <laughs> what? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, he's making them laugh. Or her laugh. Force yourself. <laughs> oh, I guess they know it doesn't taste like anything for it them. It doesn't taste of anything to the living, surely. What? <laughs> it's so silly. No, Aww. no, it, it's delicious. Wait, really? I mean it. Oh. I've never tasted anything so good. Does taste so much better when we're all together. Oh, stop that! Stop! <laughs> stop yes, it. indeed. Oh, it's sweet. Ugh, Raha's so cute. God dang it, I like this character so much. <laughs> I'm suddenly craving dessert. How about you? So 
something so silly turns to something so emotional. Stop it. Don't tell me it's already time. <laughs> Truly. We've never felt so happy in all our lives. We don't know how to thank you. Aww. But at the very least, we can give you some answers. You've risked so much and come so far for them after all. Tis our understanding you are researching a power called interdimensional fusion. Will you tell us about it? Yeah, that's one thing that we would love to find out. To begin at the very beginning, there is a legend passed down by our people, the Milala. The Malala chat, that's us, the Lollafell Malala. In that's the what distant past, in this area. we abided in a different world. Our homeland was a paradise of eternal summer. The flowers were always in bloom. Oh. That reminds me of a core of thorns and roses. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. Give me one second. Until, that is, the great calamity turned the very seas to ice. As those around them froze to death, our ancestors looked to a mighty relic for salvation. By its power, they opened a portal and used it to flee to another reality. Oh. The key is none other than that relic. And it has been in the safekeeping of our people since time immemorial. Yes. When lightning threatened this world, we attempted to use the key to flee again like our ancestors once did. Interesting. So they were originally on a world that was... The Calamity was, I guess, ice, right? Ice Age. And then lightning... And then that's why they're here, now. Alas, no matter what we tried, we couldn't invoke its power. Oh. We had all but given up when preservation approached us with an offer of partnership. Desperate as we were, we accepted their help, only to later discover their ulterior motive to plunder other worlds of ether. Wait, sorry, I forgot. Who is preservation again? That... I forgot. Um... Well, you're just going to plunder other ones. Is it just like the current Seeking people? to frustrate their plans, we defected from the Order. And as their agents closed in on us, oh, we seized mind. control of the prototype gate and activated it. Uh, yeah, it was an organ organization that was doing the test reserve memories. Yeah. Got it. So the queen... So wait, the, they've been through two calamities? Why did I... Maybe I forgot that. So the queen... So this is what... Okay. What the heck? What followed, you already know. We sent our daughter and the key through the portal, entrusting them to the men we encountered. You were born with an unusual gift, you see. Upon learning of it, preservation sought to subject you to experiments. What? A gift? I think the Malala traveled to Sphine's world to avoid the ice, but then that new world flooded with lightning. Oh, okay. And then Sphine got access to that relic because the Malala... Oh, wait, that makes sense. Oh. Interesting. What's her gift? An unusual gift. Oh, the echo. The echo, I dare say. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> and they wanted to do experiments. Interesting. Our people, the Milala. Are there any ways I might learn more about them? 
There are, such as visiting the cavern inside the volcano. Our ancient homeland has been recreated there. Our ancient homeland has been recreated there? In the volcano? The Malo- what? Okay. While it's intended to serve as an entertaining diversion, it ought to teach you a thing or two about our history and traditions. Interesting location. Let's go. Let's go. May we go there? Selfish though it may be, I should love to learn of my ancestors. Of them. And of the legacy my parents entrusted to me. Sure, by all means. As it happens, it's on the way to our destination. like you uh, stop we've gone through much you've gone through much trouble for us can y'all remind me what exactly this is a dumb question what exactly the echo has her man wait cryo is wait we can't say cryo is from the future can we no. Can we? No. <laughs> the time stuff always confuses me, but I think she's the same. No, she's not from the future, okay. Um, she's from the past. How is she from the past? She's from a different reflection. Yes, she's from a different reflection. And even a different reflection can get the echo. They worked with preservation until they defected, and then they used the gate to send the relic to our world with cryo. Did they send the relic? Wait, hold on. They worked with preservation until they defected, and then they used the gate to send the relic to our world with cryo. Oh yeah. I'll learn, okay. All right, sorry, I asked too many questions before I actually do the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're right, that's how Galul Jaja got the, I'm gonna call it the cauldron, because it's, it looks so weird, right? <laughs> yeah, that's when they handed them to Galoof. Ooh, how hard that must have been. Miss Raha Lamachi, with your help, I was able to not only bond with my parents, but know the joy of sharing a meal with them besides. For that and so much else, I thank you. Oh, the taste! That's why they ate ice cream. That's why it's called the taste of family. <laughs> um, I had another question. The Goblet of Not Fire. <laughs> yeah, the Goblet of Not Fire. Oh, okay. Ooh, a theory. I'd like to hear that after. Um, wait, no, there's one more other question. So their parents died, obviously, because they're endless. But Cryo's not even that old. Why did her parents... Is it because they were against preservation and preservation killed them, maybe? Because they went up against... even that old. How long do Lalafell live for? 
I don't know how they died. Okay. Uh, leafing through the past. Leafing. Determination. As my parents told us, the cavern inside the volcano is a place for learning about the Malala's ancient homeland. But I'm hoping it will yield other information as well. Namely, information on preservation. Preservation. The scientists who were researching interdimensional fusion. Are the scientists from the Malala people? Or are the scientists, did they come after the relic? Because Malala had to use the relic to get to Sphine's world, right? So the relic had to have come before preservation. Oh, you're right, Luxuria. We don't know. Yeah, that's true. We don't know that time moves faster than the other shard. Yeah, true. Yeah, she's 20. You're right. I forgot that time passes differently in the other reflections. Uh, and prior to that, created the endless. As living memory is likely also their creation, I expect they would carefully curate any details concerning themselves, but I wish to keep an eye out nonetheless. It, I'm all for it, of course. Seeing as the key once belonged to the Malala, it couldn't hurt to learn about them. Right then, let's head inside. What an interesting location to have, what we call it, a museum <laughs> in the volcano. Interesting. Oh boy. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot. Do I need to click on these first before I click on the destination? Or do I click on the destination first? I feel like I don't want to lose out on information. So this is how it is here. This place has the look of an ancient ruin, but I suppose it's an illusion as well. It does look pretty cool though. You need, you can read them? Okay, I'll read them first. These panels contain information about the Malala. It's very much like a museum. Okay, here we go. The panel bears information on the history of the Malala. In the distant past, the Malala abided in peace upon isles of eternal summer. Winter never visited that bountiful land and the flowers ever bloomed in all the colors of the rainbow. But such idyllic days did not last, for just when it seemed the westerly wind had turned cold, the sea suddenly froze over. From the fish in the water to the birds in the sky, all of the animals soon perished. This unnatural weather continued with seemingly no end, and one by one the Malala fell until the death toll was beyond counting. Those who lived still could do naught but pray as they huddled together for precious warmth. Can you imagine all the Lala fells together cut, 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 blah, 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 cuddling just to stay warm for babies? <laughs> Baffle. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what else? The Malala are the keepers of a mighty relic passed down through the ages. While it has the appearance of a crystal, by whose hand it was wrought is unknown. Wait, it's in the sh shape of a crisp. Wait, are they talking? Are the relic the talking about the goblet of fire? <laughs> Does it look like a crystal? Is that the relic they're referring to? Yeah, right? It's a trophy thing, yeah, okay. When, um, sorry, for some reason I thought it was something different. There's a crystal inside of it. Oh, when a great calamity froze their isles, the speaker, their spiritual leader, fervently prayed to the relic for salvation. In answer to their prayers, the relic opened for them a golden path, one that shone like the light of dawn, and through it they fled onto a new land. Interesting. The panel bears information on the. Oh, wait, I read that. Uh, some ancient time. Since ancient times, Malala have excelled in calculations. By using formula and figures, 
appears to represent all natural phenomena, they had succeeded in devising a unique system of magic. This gift proved invaluable in their new homeland, where they employed their calculations to etch arcane circuits upon the ore, which later came to be known as Electro. Ah. Through this ingenious technique, Electro was transformed into a tool that could not only store lightning, but convert it into energy of any element. So you can say Wallafels or um, Milawa are ex incredibly smart. And I'm a Wallafell. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what they mean by the speaker. Why are you, why are you bringing it up? The speaker. That's just like their, the, their leader. Esteemed for their excellence in the study of Electro, the Malala were favored by the rulers of many a nation. Some among them have attempted to invoke the power of their ancient relic to return to their homeland. Oh, but their efforts were to no avail. Never again has the golden path opened that allowed their ancestors to flee to safety. Eventually, the relic came to be forgotten, and some now question whether it ever actually existed. What? It exists. All right, let's continue. A Wallafell scholar! I know! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> Quite a mystical atmosphere here. Is this what the Malala homeland was like? Ding ding! Correct! Who is that? Oh! What's going on? <laughs> the ancient home of the Malala people is recreated here in exacting detail thanks to the marvel of Electrobe. The scale alone has been adjusted in order to accommodate folk of all proportions. Ah, but I have neglected to introduce myself. I am the guide for this facility, the steps of the speaker. It shall be my pleasure to assist you as you embark upon your educational journey. Interesting. There's even a guide? How considerate. <laughs> All right then, as we wander around, is if there is something we do not understand, we'll be certain to ask you. This is incorrect. Visits to our facility take the form of a quiz tour. So the correct answer is follow the instructions of your guide. That's yours truly. Okay. Sounds like a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm sure it will be both enlightening and entertaining. Let's have them guide us. Why not? <laughs> Very good, madame. I have registered the four of you as visitors. Please proceed through yonder passageway to the chamber beyond. Ooh, there's more. <laughs> Thanks, playing for the follow. Longest MMO ever. <laughs> it is pretty long. We love it. <laughs> Halo crossover? <laughs> what? We have to be quizzed. It's okay, I'll be good. I know. I know stuff. Ooh, look at all the... Stones and <gasps> wow, that's pretty. So this is a re recreation. I'm sh I'm assuming it's a lot smaller, right? <laughs> this is probably not to scale, I'd imagine. Maybe because if it was the Malalas that built it. <laughs> uh, wait, can we read these? Things? No, okay. This is pretty though. If I may have your attention, you stand within a shrine of the Malala, a migrant people who roamed until they found new lands to call their home. According to the folklore, they originally hailed from a paradise of eternal summer. Alas, they had no choice but to abandon it when a, new, when a great calamity froze the very seas. The speaker, their spiritual leader, guided them to safety and she is enshrined here 
with the sacred relic she wielded. What? She's enshrined here? With, with the sacred relic. In this place, they perform rituals dedicated to the dream that one day they might return to their ancestral home. A sacred relic that must be the key used to initiate interdimensional fusion. Interdimensional fusion? If such wondrous power existed, I can only imagine what great feats it could be used to achieve. Now then, it's time for a history quiz. Ugh, here we go. There are four braziers in this room, each of which is accompanied by a panel bearing a statement. If you believe a statement is true, then you must light its brazier by operating the panel. Simple, yes? Without further ado, please nominate a representative and begin. If there are no objections, let us have Miss do the honors. Go on and take a look at the panels, my friend. Of course it would be me. What? Um, all right, let's just go from left to right. Razor of Eternal Summer. Long ago, our people dwelled on Isles of Eternal Summer, where the flowers ever bloomed, yet eternity did not last, for a calamity turned the bountainous waters to barren ice. The statement seems to agree with the words spoken by the guy. Yeah, do you wish to light it? Wait, am I supposed to light it when it's wrong or when it's right? Hold on, let me... Oh yeah, if it's true, I can light it. So yes, that's true. Okay, Razor of the Relic. Praying fervently upon the sacred relic, the speaker opened a portal through which our people fled. However, she alone had to remain behind in order to sustain the power? Oh. You do not recall the speaker remaining behind. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I don't remember them saying that. All right, razor calculations. Owing to our innate gift and arcane calculations, we Malala not only transformed Electrobe into a miraculous tool, but excelled in its study besides. As such, despite originally being outsiders, we were favored by the rulers of many a nation. That's true. Wait, nothing in this name was touched upon by the guide. Oh, you'll need to find other sources to ascertain it. But it's true. They said that... Yeah, that's true, though. That's what it said in the other room. Razor of Homecoming. When lightning threatened the world, we, Malala, turned to our relic once more, invoking its power. We opened a portal and returned to our ancient homeland. That's false. Um, no. Okay. I'm gonna... So I lit up two. Hopefully that's good. I didn't light up that one. And I didn't light up that one. The last one. Remember, you must like the laser the same as you believe are true. Are you ready for your answer to be judged? Uh. Yeah. Very well, let the judging begin. You have answered correctly! And on your very first attempt, besides, amazing. Lollafell Scholar! Great work, miss. I knew you could do it. Taken at face value, the information here would suggest that the Malala had simply migrated from a distant land. But we know better. We are aware of the existence of shard worlds, umbral calamities, and interdimensional fusion. For an event that froze the seas, the fifth umbral calamity comes to mind. That which ushered in the age of endless frost. Oh, we're finally putting a name to- I can't remember all the different shards and which one happened so it's the fifth one that froze so there are, so malala are originally from the fifth shard fifth i don't know if we call it the fish shard, but anyways that's the fifth umbral calamity okay whatever and legends holds that during that age the entire population of the south seas isles vanished overnight wait how do you from the source. Wait, how is she getting this? 
from the source they're getting this information, right? Because how else? It's a legend. Okay. The art of Arcanima II traces its roots to the calculations of the South Sea Islanders. While we cannot outright conclude that these people were the Malalas, there are at least enough points of similarity to support the theory. Okay. I don't think it's the fifth reflection. That's not them t naming the shard. Fifth umbral calamity is what happened on the source. Right. Kral is speculating Malala from the source. Right. Okay. Sorry, my, my, my... <laughs> Final Fantasy. Um, if you have amused to your satisfaction, let us move to the next chamber. Another quiz awaits. Another quiz. How many of these quizzes are there? I like it. Don't complain, Lament. I'm the one answering them anyways. So wait, we're going this way? Manny, thanks for the follow. How many, how many calamities happened on the source? Thanks, Edwarden. I don't think that's it either. Umble calamities are what occur when a reflection rejoins with the source. Seven? I love this part of the story. My mind, my mind's racing because I'm just, I'm struggling to remember any bits from like the beginning of the, like a realm reborn. Uh, we're in the seventh astral era. Okay, so AK7. So we've already combined with seven other reflections and one of those reflections We can't say the Malala are from that? I guess, I don't know. I don't know if that's even ne necessary for me to know, but it's bothering me nonetheless. <laughs> it's bothering me. Whoa, what? Whoa, look at all these faces. Oh, Aether Current. I'll take that. Thank you. The Malala's reflection likely rejoined with the source, which is why they could not go back. Yeah. That makes so much sense. An Endwalker? Wait, really, Phil? I don't know if I've done all the variant ones. Okay, here we go. Next place. Let's keep learning. We have come to the most enigmatic location in the museum while it is known as the speaker's rest everything else remains a mystery no one knows what purpose it served not even the Malala themselves that's rather curious isn't it though some have suggested that this place is purely the creation of the facility's designer that it didn't actually exist in the Malala homeland oh it's generally believed, however, that the adornments upon the walls are masks that represent the emotions of men. And that brings us to the final quiz. The question is simple. Final. The question is simple. How many types of masks are there? It's the last one already? Hmm, something tells me it's not going to be as simple as it sounds. Please take all the time you require. I shall be here when you are ready with the answer. Okay. Got this one. Um, I'm gonna call him Cage Mouth. One, um, two. Little little frowny face. So Cage Mouth and frowny face. One, two. Oh, three. We got a surprise face. Three. Uh, oh, this face. Four. I'm so short. <laughs> it 
looks like four. I don't see any other new ones. Yeah. Four. Four. How many kinds of masks are there? Have you determined the answer? Uh, four. Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> so your answer is four. How about everyone else? Seriously, I thought it was six. What? Like, miss, I also believe it's four. Okay. As do I. Buckle Matt, where'd she get six? And the correct answer is... <laughs> I love the drum roll. Four! Congrats to the three of you. I should get a prize for getting all the questions right. Darn it. Dang it! Where the heck did I mess up? And that concludes the quiz tour for the steps of the speaker. I thank you for your visit today and eagerly look forward to your next, to you next, to your next. Where did she get six? She made me second guess for a second. Finished at last. <laughs> God, I am exhausted. <laughs> if the legend is true, the Malala were refugees from the source. What is this relic of theirs that can bridge worlds? Who made it? And to what end? Much about the key remains shrouded in mystery. By augmenting it with Electro, Preservation did succeed in opening a portal. Yet they could never grasp how they had managed to do so. Much less the underlying principles of the technology. They couldn't grasp how they did it? To this day, not a single person understands the mechanics of interdimensional fusion. Let alone who imbued the key with its power, when they did so, or why. We'll find that out, I'm sure. But remember this, the key is a tool, and like all tools, in and of itself, it is a force for neither good nor evil. It is a force for neither good nor evil. Hi Tiffany! They Once got lucky. taken in hand, however, <laughs> its capacity for both is made plain. In delivering one man, it may doom another. Making a lie of its bearer's every good intention. Hmm. As did preservation, Queen Sveen seeks to wield the key in the name of those she loves. And in so doing, makes her people party to the destruction of countless souls. We have told you all we can to be able to share this with you at the last. It feels as though we fulfilled our purpose. Uh, what? <laughs> You've come to shut down the terminal. Yes, we have. But perhaps there's another way, one that doesn't require the terminal's deactivation. Oh, Cryo. For the longest time, we've sought a means to erase ourselves before our knowledge could be used for ill. And in you, we have found it. So press on, press on, and don't look back. <laughs> I will. Um, may I ask you 
One last question. Of course, my dear. The earring. Why did you leave it with me? Because, Kryl, we wanted to see you again. <laughs> this may seem self-serving, but we wanted to leave a trace of ourselves with you. A hint to guide you to us, so that we could live in hope. We've dreamed of this day for so long, but now that it's become reality, we wonder if we deserve to enjoy it. We wanted naught but the best for you, yet we've always wondered how much you might have suffered in our absence. Do not torment yourself so. As fate would have it, you entrusted me to a good man. His name is Galaf, and he raised me as his own. What's more, I've been blessed with the finest comrades anyone could have. It's thanks to you that I am here now, hale and happy. So please, be at peace. Be at peace. Mother. Father. <laughs> you already have a beautiful name. If we might call you by the one we gave you? Oh. Maya. Our dearest Maya. We love you more than life itself. Who really is <laughs> Ah, what is this scene? Oh my god, Kryle's name is Maya. What? Maya. Oh. My, my name. <laughs> my name is Maya. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, that kills me. No, 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 no. Don't stop it. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Are you sure about this? You can leave the terminal to us, you know? No, I must do this. Kryl, Maya, Baldessian must press on. <sighs> press on and... since I chose to accompany you to Tyrol, I was afraid of what I might discover. Perhaps I'd lose, or perhaps I'd learn nothing, or worse, that my parents didn't love me. And now I know the truth, and I couldn't be happier. I'm glad I took up 
Pictomancy, and I'm glad I mustered the courage to say that I wanted to join you. Thank you, Miss, for trusting me with your life and walking with me all this way. Aww. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I'll see this through, rather. We'll see this through together. My apologies for keeping you. Come, let's catch up to the others. Uh... <laughs> Emotions out of me. Oof. I don't know if I can do the next part either. <laughs> I figured this part was gonna have something to do with her parents. I knew it was coming! <clears throat> I knew it. Oh, that's so sweet though. What am I doing? Oh, wait. Side quest, anything? Yeah, it was too short. But, like, we don't have a lot of time, right? Because Crazy McQueen is going crazy wherever she is. I don't know where the thing is. Anyways. Can't be, we can't have too long with them, which hurts, right? We can't, have, we could have long with Namika either. And we're not gonna have long with Kakiwa either. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's so execute, executed well. I tell you up front what's coming and it still hits. <laughs> you know, right? Aw, thanks, Manny. The others have told me all. The others have told me all. I'm glad Cryo could bid her parents a proper farewell. Now then, to ask this question for the second to last time. Are you ready to shut down the terminal? Why do they have to make this pop-up happen? I hate it. You, you know, know how to do it. You know, oh. Oh, they are making her do it. I do. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Right? <laughs> Dude, where's the cryo is right now? <laughs> She's 
like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not. I am a chosen for John no matter what. And I've had the courage to do so because of you all. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Ugh. An explorer's delight. Oh boy. What are we in for next? <laughs> uh, I must say, the closer we get to the end, the faster time seems to pass us by. Come, let's head to the fourth and final zone. By now you know how to get there, yes? Yes, we do. Excellent. This time I'd like to quickly check on the meso terminal, so I'll meet you at the gate of remembrance. Come on, everyone. He got their wish to meet their child and have their knowledge protected by deletion. Yeah, they got everything they wanted. Yeah. <sighs> Your eyes leaked a bit, too. <laughs> they deserve to live. Well, technically, they've already lived before. You know? We're just able to meet them. Because of living memory and the endless but by gone serenity is that the name of the song wait what was that theory y'all were gonna say y'all were gonna say a theory who was it that said that as far as i can tell we still have some leeway with the meso terminal Maybe you can carry on without, or carry on getting to know the endless in the last zone. Winds Path Gardens, it's called, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. That's where your memories are stored, yes. That's right, I left it for last so I could guide you as long as possible. Very thoughtful of me, yes. A great idea just occurred to me. What might that be? I'll save it for after we've arrived on the other side. See you there. Her great ideas are generally less than great. <laughs> hey, Aaronville. As much as I want to grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. Oh. What? Fine. When all said and done, I want you to be happy. I hope you know this. I know. I know. Aww. Nakiwa <laughs> isn't only his mother. She's his mentor as well. That can only make it harder for him to say goodbye. Let's go. For now, we keep doing what we've been doing. Seeking out endless and learning what's dear to them. Maya. <laughs> Adam, uh, my theory is that you're the best. <laughs> Somebody was saying that there was a theory about the Malala, but maybe it was already covered or something. I don't know. Did you play this part, Adam? <laughs> how did y'all? How did y'all get through that? That was so miserable. <laughs> like I'm still upset. <laughs> By the way, the aisles where people um, are implied to have come from on the source are the Alola Island variant dungeon, the one with the blue fairy we did. One of the bosses is presumably the speaker? Really? Oh man, we're gonna have to redo that one. Wait, why that one? What? 
How? Why? What? Maybe that was the theory. Back to cleaning. Have a good clean. Yay. <laughs> it costs too much to keep the lights on. Soul suckering operation. <laughs> tragedy after tragedy. The I'm gonna am I so heartless? I didn't find the friend the 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 Otis one was sad, but I didn't know Otis for too long to feel too connected, so I didn't get sad on that one. I thought that one was kind of like the happy one, kind of like on a, bre a break from emotion. Am I horrible to say that, especially since it was the children <laughs> endless one that we deleted? But the Namika one got me. That was also the first one, so that makes sense. And then that one got me. They got rid of him too quickly. You didn't get sad from one part of the story. Five out of ten expansion. I just thought it was like a nice break. I was like, oh wait, this is actually funny and it's fun. You know? Like a nice goodbye. Not like a, oh, she met her parents for the first time and she learns her name for the first time. Goodbye. Kidding me? <sighs> That's true, Ryan. <laughs> nah, different story beats hit differently for people, though this section is absolute blurration of the soul for those with parental issues. <laughs> yeah. The first one got me. <laughs> Cause it's just like when you first realize that this is a place where you can meet loved ones that have have died oh god kill, kill me <laughs> for real all right last area last area last area sort of last area before the the finale i guess um greetings and welcome to winds path gardens the sanctuary of exploration and discovery the marvels of the natural world wait you all right Lots to unpack, yeah. I'm the type of person that, and I need I need some time to be able to process some stuff. I'm sure everybody's that way, but especially for me, I, I think hit things hit harder later. <laughs> like yeah, it's sad in the moment, but then it hasn't fully processed in my mind, and then afterwards I'm like sobbing. <laughs> I'm like wait. This place is pretty. Look at all the flowers. <clears throat> if I could have everyone's attention, I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. What are you going to say? Oh. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man, Aww. surrounded by wonderful friends. Aww. As his mother and mentor both, I couldn't be more proud. Aww, what is he doing with that face? As for my second wish, Hmm. That was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day. Or days in a year. Or years in a life. Kafkiwa. Oh, don't. 
Don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. The mood? The mood was already spoiled, <laughs> lady. <laughs> Don't worry about that. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before, I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. Wait, she's never been here? I thought you might say that. Thank you. Windspath Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of living memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. Lots of walking trees. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we? Absolutely not. We're to grant you your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. Oh, Alan Nespier. Please understand. Oh, no. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely. <laughs> yeah. Of course. It's gonna be sad no matter what, though. She hasn't actually explored this place, even though she's been here. I don't know how long she's been here, but yeah. Hi, Kai. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Dee. Thanks for the follow. I fantasized a Lala yesterday. It's been like over a year since I was last a Lala. It's taking some time to get used back to being small again. <laughs> being a Lala fell is the best. All right, then with your consent, let's begin our ad adventure. Naturally, while we go about this, feel free to continue befriending Endless and be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. It is very pretty. I like this. It's like the tree. The tree of, I don't know, knowledge and balloons. The balloon tree. Wow, this place is really pretty. Look how colorful. For a second, I thought that was the eighth current. Um, ew. we got lots of walking trees. Oh, there's an eighth right over there. Okay. Oh my God, it's for swings. <laughs> This particular garden is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning, and there are all and they are all actual plants? 
They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation as the calamity had pushed them to the brink of extinction. Wow. So this zone is like a great conser conservatory. I can't talk. Conservatory. Precisely, my dear cryo, here you'll find flora and fauna the likes of which no longer exist elsewhere. I swear I've seen that tree before. Doesn't the thought just set your heart aflutter? I suppose. <laughs> so, I expect that some creatures I encountered outside of Tural may have cousins in this world. While I am no expert on life and the reflections, it would make for an interesting study to compare them. Now there's an idea. Leave it to my pupil to think of up such. Here we have not only a world's traversing adventurer and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Charlie and finest scholars besides. It's a verbal de gathering of inquisitiveness, and I am thrilled to be part of it. It is like Ultima Thule. Yeah. In search of discovery. To begin with, I'd like you to scout out the vicinity and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They're bound to be familiar with the area, after all. As Elanespia's Anespia suggested, it would be interesting to compare the creatures here with those native to the source. I never ventured outside of Tural, so I look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I've only ever been to Charlie and myself, but I'd like to think I know I know interesting when I see it. Okay. Hey Rhea. <laughs> I didn't even do anything, so that helped me out. Alright, let's go talk to the locals. This isn't so bad. This is nice and pretty. Rainbow! I like this. This is soothing. Specimen observing endless. Alright, what are you looking at? Oh, that's my fairy. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? Look up the trunk. See the plants within capsules? Those? Oh, you can only look up so high. Uh, these are species that either can't survive in wind's path gardens or would become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem. The capsules recreate the conditions they require from tropical to frigid climes while keeping them isolated. But it's so tiny. In this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever, just like ourselves. My question is, if we turn it off, is it gonna, are they gonna die? Are they gonna die? Oh my god, how are they encapsulated in such a tiny capsule? Okay, what is this? Observation point? Okay, what are we observing? The tree? The walking creepy tree? I've seen the tree for a millennia. You see a tree wondering about that resembles the tree that's native to Twelve's wood. Yep. Alright, what else are we gonna find? Look how pretty. You can take so many photos in the different colored flowers. I like it. I like it, Picasso. Water watching inlet. Are there sea creatures? Did you know that even the water here is created using electro? The initial product is too pure though, and adjustments have to be made so the composition resembles what's found in the natural environment. 
That's just one of the many things they do to create the ideal conditions for these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. Speaking of lovely spots, have you been to the top of this lookout here? It's a great vantage point, and there's even a food stall in case you're hungry. Oh, up there? Ooh, we should go up there. Oh wait, I think that's the eighth, where the eighth ride is. Okay, let me do this one first. Alright, what are we looking at? Those things? The flower garden appears to be meticulously oh, maintained, if not by endless, then by machines. gigantic tree that grew nearby it was so enormous that when you stood at its base the roots covering the ground went beyond the horizon the terminal here at winds path garden is apparently inspired by that very tree the leafa tree it's its name was it may not be real but it's nice to have it as a memento for prosperity they also say lolly ho what the heck Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit up the extremes and raids. Heck yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be so fun. I've only heard bite-sized pieces about the Arcadian, so I'm excited. All I know is that it's an arena. So. Kande Petit was in Final Fantasy IX. So the Lollafells, was there any Lollafells in Final Fantasy IX? Um, or I guess Malala, I don't know what they would be called, but. They say lolly ho. The zone music is so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Leafa Tree is another nine reference. Jeez Louise, so many Final Fantasy nine references. I feel bad that I didn't play nine. I don't understand the references. I'm glad y'all are pointing them out though. Yeah, that means the dwarves from Final Fantasy nine are Lollafells. Well, there is a section in Shadowbringers where they're called dwarves, and they also say lolly ho. And there's like an, <laughs> it's so cute. The whole area is so cute because they all, nobody but Lollafells can go in their residences, right? Because they can't fit because <laughs> they're dwarves. I love it. Oh, maybe, maybe Seaver. I've, I know who you're talking about, but I never played it, though. Ah, oh, welcome back, Miss Cryo. Has just delivered to me a most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions to share, too, I hope. I need to sneak in the new Lala only zone. New one. Are you talking about the Palu Palu area? There's one house that only Lollafell can go into in the Palu Palu. The Machu... Uh, Ma I can't remember the name of the city. Machu Pelo? Well, well, that is all very interesting indeed. But I must say, I am most fascinated by the ambulating trees. While well, there are similar creatures in Urkopacha, could you tell me more about the treants as you know them? 
They're native to the Twelves Wood, where they prey upon even wolves. There are various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or a gnarled look. They like to hurl acorns at you, exploding ones? What? Which one do I say? Let's do that one. <laughs> do they throw acorns? I don't remember. I haven't fought them in so long. What? Do they really do that? Is that so? To maintain an ecosystem with such formidable creatures, I imagine there must be other equally imposing species to keep them in check. Indeed, <laughs> they do. The management of ecosystems, that calls to mind Labyrinthos, does it not? Yeah, it reminds me of Labyrinthos. That it does. Lest you wonder, Labyrinthos is a storage facility deep beneath Charlian that contains a rec recreation of a temperate climate zone. Such a place exists? Amazing. By the by, did anyone also catch a sight of a large scale scalekin? A large scalekin, you say? What does it look like? Nothing I've seen before, but it was but it has a rodent-like form and walks on all fours. If it looks like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a beastkin? No, it's covered in scales, ones that appear to mimic succulent plants. By that, I would definitely classify it as a scalekin. <laughs> They're bondy. Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? Very well. It was in a flower field earlier and should still be there. Or still be near. Let's, how to, let's head over there then. When we find it, we'll see who's right. The two of you should come along too and lend us your opinions. Go on ahead, miss. I'll let the others know and then join you. NPC shadows turn off or something. <laughs> my character is the only one. I had to turn my settings down a lot because my computer has been struggling, unfortunately. Oh, look how cute it looks. It does look like a little succulent. You spot a beast resembling the Ekivor you encountered in the first. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember this creature. <laughs> That's the one there! It looks nervous. I know, poor thing. I see, I see. At a glance, it certainly has the look of both scale kin and beast kin. Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. So, is guys the fairy place? Is this the fairy place? Alright, what are we gonna say? It's covered in plant-like scales. It has deaf little paws. It has a pointy snout. Let's say plant-like scales. That was also the first thing I noticed. I dare say those scales are for hiding in foliage. Oh, it chased its tail like a little doll. Oh, it's running away now. Having studied it, I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. Hmm, you may be right. If we consider that along with its other characteristics, such as its face and hands, it's most likely to be a beastkin, like you said. A physical examination would be needed to confirm this beyond doubt, but I'm satisfied simply to have seen it. It seems you alone were familiar with this species. Where did you encounter it? The fairy kingdom of the first? 
Miss has been to the very edge of existence. She has seen life that others couldn't only imagine. <laughs> Let me tell you about the places I've been. Amazing, creation truly holds no end of mysteries. The fairy place is like my favorite area of all Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think anything can beat that, man. Oh, how I'd love to see them all, the life beyond the bounds of our star and plain both. If only I could give her, like, my memories, you know. Looks like we're having fun. Uh -oh. <sighs> Hearing about the unknown never fails to rouse me. I felt the same way when Kenton Ram and Galoof, Galoof treated me to the tales of their travels. You've met my grandfather, too? Oh, didn't I already mention it? It was that it was when Galif came to Tural to investigate the Golden City. I happened to have business with Gulul Jaja, so we met in Tuliolo. Little did I know that the tiny babe he was cradling would return as you. To think that our paths have already crossed all these years ago. Not only yours and mine either, Elaneshpa. Yeah, it was there too, you know. I don't remember. It's quite fine if you don't. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> He's kind of hot though. Really? <laughs> uh, it was actually because Gallup told me about Charlene that I later urged Elinespia to take up gleaning. My fussy bun bun was growing up down dour and withdrawn and it was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's story about gleaners. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire a change for the better I believe. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawn. If you ask me you still have some work to do but it's because you're that way that you're with us now and I am and I for one am grateful. Aww. This is sweet. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? There is a facility I've been wanting to visit. The Cle Clara Museum of Nature. They're supposed to have creatures that take you on a leisure flight. Wait, what? The, there's just one problem. It seems only three people can fly at a time. Then you and Aaron Bell should go. The rest of us still have plenty of other things we can do here. If there's room for one more, why don't you come with us? I'll fly. I'll join it. <laughs> then it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of Linode Arrow. Come on. <laughs> Cryo's granddaddy can get it. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody thirsts over so many different characters, so it's okay. <laughs> and we will. I, sorry, I have my alerts paused. They're probably going to be paused throughout the remainder of today just because I don't want them to be playing during cutscenes. But I appreciate the 31 month resub. I hope you're well. Wait, did I? Oh, no. This is another plate. Oh, this is another Aetherite. I should probably go attune to that. I don't think I have. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I have. I, I got confused. Never mind. Um, alright. Let's go this way. Wait, have I really gotten all of them? One, two... Oh, there's only three. Why did I think there was more? Excuse me, little plant. Is this the way? Oh. How are you supposed to get here normally? Uh... A wee! Oh, oh, I can't go! Wait, how do you... Oh, this way. <laughs> There's a path! <laughs> Screw the path! Wait, I didn't even see them go on the path. I see the path, though. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, go. I'm also trying to look to see if I can see any aether current, so I keep getting distracted by the little wind. Little wind thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There we Ah, the path. Ah. The knowable. 
Ooh, I like this area. Hey, those trees look familiar. Oh, a whale. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? They phase through the cave walls. Whee! Nice, I like it. Why? Don't even. Satomi, so what are the capybaras doing here? Ooh, what's this? What's that? Hi, Satomi. So finale day. It is finale day. Should I join them? Where's my capybara? My capybara is so much smaller. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I know, I have a fly. I have so many mouths. <sighs> oh, hi, Piggy! I didn't know you streamed as well. Yeah! I, I mainly stream, actually. The stuff on YouTube is... Well, it depends on what YouTube you're on, but it's either cut down to bite-sized pieces, or it's like not cut down at all <laughs> but yeah but hi welcome okay <sighs> all right T whoa this is cool I just can't look up I, I'm very uncomfortable around whales for those that may not know about me I'm scared of whales <laughs> so like what uh, here it is, the Clay Rub Museum of Nature. The main building is closed due to, oh, the ether shortage, but happily they're still offering leisure flights. Wait, can we turn it on because we have ether? And these are the fellows that will bear, oh, bear us, how adorable. They don't look capable of flight. Haha, -ha, come now, you know better than to judge a creature by its appearance. This will be great, I just know it. What the heck? <laughs> We're gonna ride the capybara. <laughs> Don't judge a creature. Of course, capybara fly. Ooh, I got oh, got ether current for this. A journey never ending. Oh boy. Begging your pardon, but this is where you can go on leisure flights. Yes, indeed it is. Bearing you will be, you will be our adorable. Men Wapyaris, who are especially trained by a Turali friend. Is that what they're called? Just say the word and we'll send you up, up, and away. And there you have it. Shall we then? Let's go ride our capybaras. Uh, you are ready. Then go ahead and mount up. The Men Wapyaris. Fly a set route, so you need only relax and enjoy the view. Let's do it! Wee! Oh! Wee! Oh! Wee! <laughs> this is weird. How exhilarating! I'll be dang, they really do fly! <laughs> this is so silly. Hey, the way we're flying in formation, don't we look like migrating birds? Yeah. Except we're on giant rodents. <laughs> what the heck? Speaking of migrating birds, the mallard is where your name comes from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew, but I learned it from the shamanist, not from you. Shamanist? Who? The who? A migrating bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've done just that, my clever mallard. Ooh, this is so pretty. I think you not to call me that. <laughs> is that why he doesn't like his name? Because it's from a bird? Oh dear, is it over already? Time really does fly when you have fun. What a joy to see a living memory from up high. Nice. 
lovely, a lovely little fly flight with our cappy bars. <laughs> you got the cappy bar mount? Nice! Oh, that was wonderful. An experience worth saving for the very end. You two enjoyed yourselves as well, I trust. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. For my fu fussy bun bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you and miss. Thank you for indulging me. If I could, I'd go for another hundred rides, but I must settle for the one. It's time we were headed to the aero terminal. No. <laughs> I was having fun. If there are still things you wish to do, you'll want to do them now. When you're ready, make your way along the path yonder and I'll find the others and let them know the same. <laughs> Cue the, the little violin. <sighs> Alright, I need to go use the restroom before we do this. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Of all animals in the real world, I wouldn't be surprised if Capybara could actually fly. They're just so chill. They probably can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to try at them. What? Yeah, you're right. Santa thinks those reindeer are so cool. Yeah, think about all the Capybaras that can fly. Yay. <laughs> All right, Aaronville, let's let's rip off the band-aid. Um, she's only a facsimile constructed from her memories. I understand this, but when she's right there, as alive and spirited as I've ever known her, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Does she even know how it tears me apart? He's trying, he's trying to be so strong. Poor Aaron though. What about my beach vacation? What? Beach vacation? Look, a wind spirit. I go up there. Where's the oh the terminal is the tree, right? No vacation, only suffering. This expansion was supposed to be a beach vacation. <laughs> you had that in Tura. <laughs> Man, this expansion is not what I expected at all in terms of where it ended or is ending. Like, I literally thought it was going to stop after she became Dawn Servant. So, color me surprised. Uh, how delightful this has been. Oh no, it's Not back. since my journey with the Dawn Servant have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. Even better. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. I mean, it still could be like a beach vacation. You just have to cry up the beach, <laughs> and then you swim in it. <laughs> Stop. Well, this is as far as I can go. As for the rest? Just stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then disappearing. Ellen Espia, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that...
brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. <sighs> Can't you be happy for me? How could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Hmm. Hold on one second. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. And those feelings will live on. This is something only you can do. <laughs> Maybe this one. Those feelings will live on. As you wish, Mother. I'll continue what you began. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go and do what you couldn't do. I will. Look at you, all grown up and dependable. <laughs> Yet with so much more ahead, a world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. And wherever your journeys take you, keep me close to your heart, will you? I should like to be there to see what I haven't seen. You will be, Mother. Grab that pill and smother me to death. <laughs> Stop. Stop. forget that you're my pride and joy. I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care and farewell.
couldn't have asked for more fulfilling final hours than these. I'm so happy to have met you, you and everyone. Thank you for the memories. And thank you for watching over Ellen Espia. He's He'll be fine now, I know it. <laughs> Wait, know that reference? What reference? Grab her tear, search it for memories. What? That somber zoom out, I know, right? Do you have any quest questing you need want to do when the story is done? Um, I still have to get all the Aether Currents and... Um... I mean, I have the quest for the Aether Currents, right? And then I still got a Fate Grind. I kinda... <laughs> I got demotivated. Um... And then I still need to do the normal raid, right? I need I need to do all of that. That'll be fun. And obviously I want to unlock, unlock extremes. Um, and I want to do that too. Yeah. What do you need a fate grind for? I don't know. I don't have to. But I really want that umbrella. And you have to do all of them to get that pretty umbrella. <laughs> and I want it. <laughs> Um, and I'm also like halfway there, kind of, so I feel like bad not continuing it. Should do some raid leading streams. Le Wait, what do you mean raid leading? Yeah, I know the umbrella is so pretty. Hi, Ninja. I am live. Thank you. Savage on Tuesday. <laughs> Wait, what? You learn the fights and tell us what to do? Uh, <laughs> you want me to? I can. <laughs> but we need eight people. I mean, or maybe, yeah, we would need eight people. That's like impossible. How are we going to get eight people? I don't know that. I only know. Hold on. Todd, Vic, Adam, FN, Tomi, maybe? We would probably have to go to the other at Aether. Thing. Rhea, Cat, oh, and me. Oh, that is eight. We could probably do it. Do y'all want to? <laughs> I can try. That'd be fun. We'll leave this to you, Aaronville. <sighs> when is Savage coming out? Is it really this Tuesday that Savage comes out? No way, right? That's too soon, right? Oh no, it is coming out this week! No! Oh, that's fun. Dang it, you know, I was talking to Tina and she was asking me if I was gonna try to do savage raids again and get like a, a team. And I was like, I don't know, man. I'd have to join a whole new team. And it's probably too late now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ryan. I play on, I'm on the Primal Data Center and I play on Excalibur. Never too late? Eh, eh. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. All right. Um, will we, because that's a lot, man. Doing Savage again? <sighs> I also am not, I'm not, I'm not ready. I don't even have. I don't have it. I don't have stuff yet. I didn't do the. I didn't keep up with the weekly stuff. Anyways, all right. Back to sad moment. We'll leave this to you, Aaronville. Ah, I don't want to do this. You're on Crystal. You'll support from afar. Technically, we can still play with each other. We just have to go to the. What data center do we have to go to, chat? To, for all of us to play. Oceana or what or I can't remember. Oh, DC's open on Tuesday. No, not Party Fighter. Do, did y'all say we have to like travel all somewhere? But now it's now we don't have to. 
Dynamis, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, we'd have to all travel to Dynamis to play with each other. However, y'all are saying it opens Tuesday? Oh. <laughs> cool, bro. You can buy crafted gear and jump right in? I guess so. Joy is gonna be party finding casually, I think, and trying to grab friends where possible. Oh, really? <laughs> Weeklies haven't started yet? Oh. Oh, I thought they had. Hi, Icy. What well, opens Tuesday? I guess Data Center is opens Tuesday, so that means we can play with each other. It should, because raid groups need to be together, right? Okay. Yeah, open DC travel. Otherwise, one member on a different DC equals uh, hopping to Dynamis. Which means every static ends up on Dynamis. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Sorry. Let's... I'll think about it. Okay. Alright. Let's focus. I'm trying to delay the inevitable. I... I won't waver. Not anymore. If you're ready, you're... If you're ready yourselves, then so am I. Sad to see his mom in the distance. That makes all of them. All that remains is to wait for the Meso Terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. And then we strike. Already begun? Oh no. <laughs> no action on my part? Or no action on my part is required? Nice. Time to chill. Oh yeah. Hi Leslie. What is everyone talking about? We're just talking about Final Fantasy 14. Not a moment too soon. It's as if she's saying she won't let us do as we please anymore. Through through our time here, we've come to know what it is Sveen seeks to Sveen seeks to protect, but that doesn't change what we have to do. We... Is this the last? Is this? 
Is this the last quest since it's called Dawn Trail? <laughs> no! <laughs> and that's the gift thing and everything. <laughs> it's the name of the expand name drop. <sighs> All right. I'm going to wait for this ad to go away and then I'm going to begin. She did amazing in the qualifiers and took first position in that round. Um, she will be competing in the all around on August 1st. When is August 1st? What day is that? Wait, what is today's date? Today is the 28th. Okay, so on Thursday. Okay. But what time? Because it's in Paris. How do we watch the movie? Um, just go into my Discord. There'll be, there'll be a little event thing that's at the top that says, like, we're live. Um, but essentially, just go into the roles. I mean, I don't think you have to do this, but you can if you want. If you want to be notified for when movie night begins, you can go into the roles text channel, um, react to the popcorn emoji. That'll give you the movie's role. And then I usually tag the movie's role when, I, when we go live, but... If you scroll down, you should be able to see a little section that has movies. It says movie info, movie discussions, movie theater. You just go into movie theater and that's how we watch. I haven't been able to find video highlights, but I'm sure those will be available later. That's what I'm hoping. I want to watch those. I mean, I watched a little one off TikTok, but I want to watch more than that. <laughs> You're welcome. If you need help, just don't be afraid to ask in Discord. It's all good. Um, today at 12 PST is the individual event qualifier. Simone is a vault and floor specialist. At 12 PST, so 2 PM my time? Wait, they're not done today? Wait, I thought she already did her vault and floor. Peacock has re replays of the qualifiers that air. I'm gonna have to find that. That's what I've been watching the Olympics on is Peacock. Only because Orca gave gave me his info so I could watch. <laughs> I don't have my own sub. Alright. Are we ready to finish Dawn Trail, guys? <laughs> I'm not sure how long this quest will take, but usually it takes a long time. So, just heads up. Um... I will keep streaming. I'll probably start, I mean, I'm assuming I'll be, this is not going to go until 4. It's not that long, I think. Um, I'll probably start the normal raids after. We'll see. I don't know. How long will this take? Will this take a long time? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't finished it. Evan, are you here? <laughs> I don't know. What could possibly be sadder than when we just, what we went through, right? Right? Not until four. But there is a lot of stuff to remember. I don't remember how long, but probably before four. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. I was hoping it would be, like, done at, like, two, and then we'd have two hours to decompress. <laughs> Simone did the all around this morning to compete to represent USA on all elements, and this afternoon is a qualifier to so compete as individual. Oh, okay. But I won't be able to watch that. But you just let me know, Madrona, what you see when it, when it happens. Even if there's like a big moment happening in Final Fantasy IV, then just say it and I'll read it after. <laughs> Roughly an hour or two, maybe one hour. There's a few things, but not two and a half hours worth, I don't think. Maybe one hour. Okay. So we can, like, talk about it afterwards. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> What's gonna happen? All right. Last quest. Dawn Trail. Let's begin. <laughs> we'll carry out Kaku's plan. It's our best chance at stopping Sfeen. It will be dangerous, I shouldn't doubt. We are all prepared, I assume. I don't know, are we? That goes without saying. Come, we head to the Meso Terminal. I look prepared. Look at look at how smart I look. Oof. And look at this book. Yes. And this face. Yeah, we're good. We're ready. 
Um, let me fast travel here, though. <sighs> I have alerts paused, too, by the way. I'll play them when there's, like, a slow moment. Ooh, the music sounds echoey. Did it always sound like that here? Maybe it did. The music here is nice. The house was empty. We were just there to turn the lights off. Oh god, that's that's so heartbreaking. Don't say that. Oh my god. Um, we'll see how smart you are in the trial. Oh, I don't claim to be smart. <laughs> I don't claim to be um, smart enough to figure out mechanics. Let me be clear with that, but I am smart. I'm just not smart enough to figure out mechanics like this. Sometimes I just go with the flow. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna stand still. <laughs> Sometimes that works out in my benefit. Sometimes uh, it, that doesn't at all, um, but that's okay. That's why I rely on YouTube videos YouTube video, but for this, I'm obviously gonna figure it out. I can do it. Some of the things though, and like Savage, I sit there and I'm like, how, how, how did you know? Oh yeah, surely, surely this is how you, where you go. Right? You're smart enough to figure out mechanics. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see though. Someone said that online, uh, that line on a video and it hurt. Who said that? <laughs> that really did hurt. You can do it! Thank you! The majority of players can't figure out savage mechanics, don't worry. Yeah, that stuff goes, like, hard. I don't understand how they do it. Light rampant? <laughs> Which one is that one? Oh. Here, okay, hold, focus. <clears throat> no good. It seems we can't simply shut down the meso terminal like the others. <laughs> did she? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't hurt to try that. Not surprising in the least. My mother did tell us its defenses are tight, but she also left me a means of circumventing them, a program that will send your souls into the terminal's memory banks. What? We're sending our souls into the memory? Hi, Trev. Uh, okay. Therein lies a virtual domain generated by Sphine's memories. So we, so we would venture into this domain and then seek out, seek out and stop Sphine. If our souls are transferred in this, in their entirety, dying in that domain would be no different from dying outside of it. There's no guaranteed of safe return. Fantastic. Nonetheless, this is a risk we must take. Like always, it's not like we haven't risked our life before. We've already come this far and I'll be danged if I'm going to turn back now. By meeting the in Endless, I've gained a better understanding of Sphine and the burden she bears. I want to say a few things to, to her when we meet again, even if it doesn't make a difference. Whatever happens, we won't let Sphine walk her misguided path any longer. Yeah! For those we've yet to meet! Ooh, I like that. <laughs> the potato is right after all. Always. <laughs> I'll do all I can to provide support. Mother has instructed me on her program as well as the world within the terminal. I'll also keep an eye on your bodies while you are gone. That's a good idea. Should it come to it, though, I won't hesitate to call on our comrades outside. I'm acutely aware of my limits. <laughs> Upon entering the terminal, we will most certainly meet with fierce resistance from its defenses. Is this a dungeon? Are we going in a dungeon? Duh, right? Duh. Where is this a trial? Then, no. It's a dungeon. Then there is Fiend herself. That will be the trial. In order to initiate interdimensional fusion, she said that she intends to erase her own memories 
What manner of entity she will become as a result, none can say. And if she invokes the key and opens portals to other worlds, she would have access to vast amounts of ether to bring to bear against us. We must be prepared for anything. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Whatever we encounter won't change our objective, and it won't change what I'll do. Come, my friends, it's time to settle this. What's it gonna be called? What's the, the, ooh, look at it. <laughs> ooh, look at it. Yes. Oh, it's called Alexandria. Wait, that makes sense. <laughs> Woo! All right, who wants to do Alexandria with me? Going into the Matrix type to check in. Sounds like it. Ooh, the music is so good, but it's too loud, right? Should I turn it down? Turn it down just a little bit. It's a little loud. It's a little. It's a little loud. I'll come if you need a floor DPS. See, you want to come? Okay. Ta uh, Todd, Effin, Rhea. Okay, we have a lot. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. Okay. Um, all right, we'll see. Hello. I'll invite you. Tell me what you're going to go as. Um, Adam, you haven't... Oh, wait. I will ask this of everybody in the party. Please let me tell you what to do. <laughs> I know that sounds so bossy, but it's because I've never done this dungeon before. I would like to be able to figure out the mechanics um, on my own if it's okay. I know you'll probably die and I apologize. Um, tank, usually, I don't really boss tanks around. I kind of just, I just tell you to stand right in front of the boss. Um, so just <laughs> please listen to me. If you have to move somewhere, I'll try my best. Um, take others. I'm always, always free. I'm all caught up. D so you want to come? She's <laughs> she's paying for all the repair costs. Yeah, hopefully we don't die that much. <laughs> I want Adam in there. Okay, Adam. Um, yeah, I can never remember who you are. Adam. And then, who wants to come that hasn't had a chance? Invite Sling Dijon. Brandon's name is Sling Dijon. <laughs> He's A-OK, -okay. darn it. Oh my god, you have to tell him his name is awesome. I play on Excalibur, sorry. I play on Excalibur. I have PTSD doing this on Healer, oh no. <laughs> How is Brandon already a hundred? Well, he's been playing with them, right? I can repair if you need. Oh, I don't know. Do I need a repair? I'm good. We we're just. Oh, but you're saying like inside the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> um, Fan, I'm going to invite you. Okay, one second though. All right. And then, um, then we'll do the, I mean, eventually we'll do the next trial, I'm assuming, so. Alright. Are we ready? Your crafts are all 100? I hope to get there eventually. Evan, I just redesigned my portrait to match yours. <laughs> no, you didn't! I haven't, I haven't updated mine. Hold on. How do you apply? How do you like, this is mine? Why does it have that? Save. There. Edit and save, okay. All right, we ready? Alexandria. Let's go in, guys. Good luck. <laughs> um, do however you normally do see for ad pulls. Whatever 
You. <gasps> what? Wow. What? Well, I was not expecting this. Wow, it's beautiful! What? Oh, I thought it was... I wasn't expecting it was gonna be... That's... Wow, it's so pretty! Is this what Final Fantasy IX looks like? To the memories of better days, I bid farewell. Wow, it's so pretty! Well, I mean, so this is what it... Yeah, look at the hat shop! And the flower... Wow, this is so cool. Is this what Final Fantasy IX looks like? My portrait didn't save. You should have done what I did. You have to edit and save. Yeah, I know, it should auto edit. Clearly we don't care if materia changed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow. Princess Fien is here. Even with all her duties, she makes time for us. It's the princess. Do we have to go in the little... Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. First obstacle. First obstacle. Oh, cool. Can I hit all of them? Madonna, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey Eli, have you played Final Fantasy 9? Was so much potential for a great system ruined by scuff. Are y'all talking about the portraits? I never tanked it, but I will do my best cuz it's only my second time in here. Hey, don't worry. It's my first time. You'll be fine. Don't worry. I have not played Final Fantasy IX. Doesn't this make you want to play Final Fantasy IX? Didn't have PlayStation growing up. I didn't either. I feel ya. This is Your awesome, smile means all is right with the world. If I smile, it is because you all smile for me. Is she in there? Oh yeah, it's so uplifting to see. Yeah, she must have been in there. Do we go... Where do we go? This way? Service Eternal. Oh. I'm going to become a knight and protect the princess. How my par Todd, how's my par so far? Am I in the static yet? Oh god. What do you mean everyone? Machine dolls. Mm -hmm. I'm still mad about Otis. Why? Because we didn't get that much information about him? It was kind of abrupt. We got some info, but they didn't go, they didn't really push too much into his, uh, I don't know, lore, I guess we could say. Oh, what an elephant. The mobs are all big. Well, they're, well, we're just lol fell, so <laughs> that's why I see. Because they managed to have him die three times after meeting him. <laughs> Problem? One of my favorite characters, and they just kept killing him. <laughs> That's why they did it. What made him? What made him your fa your favorite? Because of the whole night stuff. 
I don't feel like I got a good sense of who he really was. I got no cape in. Wait, is this the boss? Oh, whoa! Volatile memory cache. Oh, his attitude, voice actor lore. His voice actor was really good. What in the octopus monster? An antivirus! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Alright, let's, uh... Y'all ready? Actually, wait. All right, let's go. Time to go. Let's go. My tutorial. Get ready for it. All right, I'm gonna focus, chat. All right, get off to the side. Don't let it suck you up. There you go. Now go back in the center. Sorry, there's gonna be a delay. All right, stay in the center. I'm gonna put a shield on us. Oops, wrong button. Oh, that was not good. Foreign entity removal initiated. All right. Uh, circle, uh, tic-tac-toe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, go in the circle. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh God, I'm dead. <laughs> I get it, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it went in the order. Okay, read <laughs> it. Oh my god. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, not tic tac toe. In fact, uh, quite the opposite. Um, avoid <laughs> getting a tic tac toe. Beautiful. <laughs> Stop the sudden panic. I, I couldn't I couldn't respond fast enough. Okay, circles get in the circle uh, X's get in the um, what is it? How do you say the um, uh, mm, How do you say? Positionals, how do you say it uh, not east southwest and cardinals cardinals enter cardinals. Thank you There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. I'll do the, the fancy stuff after we don't need it right away. <laughs> Into car. I was trying to think of the term. I was like, wait, was, was it the north south, but not the north south? I get it, but I'm dead. <laughs> wait your instruction. Yeah, so basically, we're gonna stay out of the center, stay off the wings, and then when the tic tac toe shows up, you have to go in the order, and we'll figure out the order. I'm assuming the order is right to left but we'll find out yeah i know there's a stream delay i'm so sorry um i was over here about to mechanic and then remembered i needed to wait i think the best if you don't know if i don't know what i'm doing just literally stand on top of me can you give me a dorito stand on the dorito <laughs> Oh, you learned intercardinals from, oh, MTQ. Yeah, she's great at her um, tutorials for stuff. There we go. Perfect. Just follow the Dorito. Um, except Tank, obviously you can't necessarily follow the Dorito. But um, not all the time because you have to, you know, Tank. But so just, just do your best. You'll be fine. <laughs> when in doubt, go down with the captain. Exactly. Like, thank you so much for the follow. Um, we don't need a shield. It's okay. We'll just go ahead. Hold on, I should probably be in party. I think it was a little unnecessary at the beginning to do the shield. All right. Get off to the side. I'm lagging a little bit. Okay, we're good though. All right. Go go in the center. Immune response. Uh huh. All right. Let's pay attention to where the circle and the X is, or maybe you can say plus signs. All right. What's gonna show first? Okay. To the first circle, and then stand in the center, and then do off cardinal. 
Sinner, sinner, off card. Okay, there, off cardinal. Okay, sinner. Sinner. <laughs> and then off cardinal. Or, or whatever, inter cardinal, sorry. <laughs> Say off cardinal. <laughs> All right, I want to obviously stay out of the center. All right, let's go back. All right, what's next? Oh, okay, stack on me. Yes, easy one. Okay. Right. Oh, we got we got him again. Okay. So intercardinal. Ooh, and don't stand there. Okay, intercardinal. Oops. Intercardinal. Circle. Circle. And intercardinal. And then stay out of the center. Ooh, that can be kind of tricky. Okay, stack. What's gonna happen next? I think that was an AoE, but I shielded everybody, so I couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, is it just the same thing over and over? We got circle, circle. Right. Oh no, no. Oh no. Wait. That was bad. Oh god. I forgot it's a delayed, but we're good. Uh oh goodness. Oh goodness. Run out. Run out! No! <laughs> I was too slow. <laughs> oh no. I for okay, so there's a little bit of a delay. Alright, let's retry. Y'all are okay with that? <laughs> Darn it. Also, I'm lagging a little bit because I'm streaming on two different... Let's see if I can... Let me close down some applications to see if I can make this not be so laggy. Hold on one second. One second, chat. <laughs> no, don't stand on the Dorito. Okay, let me in Discord. Okay, I think that'll help a lot. All right. <sighs> that makes an awful pattern. Yeah, it does. I don't know how, how are we supposed to survive? I guess it gives us enough time to get out if he does the side attack. If it makes you feel better, I died here too. Okay, it does make me feel better. Thanks for dying, Todd. All right, let's do it. Delay between the danger visual and the skill visual is super painful on this one. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, whatever. All right. Whenever you are ready, see? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to figure out when he's going to do the side or the front. Okay, immune response. Maybe it's the... Uh, maybe I should be more aware. So that was a circle. Oh, and then his tentacles go out. Okay, well, okay, I guess it's just visual. Alright. Alright, get ready for tic-tac-toe. Alright, let's just stand off to the side here. The good thing is, you don't actually have to be close to the X's, you just have to be intercard, and that's not bad. I need to do DPS while moving though. All right, okay, let's get off the sides. Nice, beautiful. I'm proud of y'all. All right, stack. <laughs> Okay. I feel like it all, you know, you can totally just not move here or here. All right, and then get in the center, and then center, and then enter cardinal. Oh, I got hit. It's okay, I'm fine though. <laughs>
Okay. Hit us! I dare you. Cytolis? Okay, that's when he does the big AoE. Got it. Oh my god, so laggy. Alright, no panicking. No panicking. No panicking. This, I can see why this is considered hard. Okay, let him do his thing in this. Okay, and then go here. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is actually quite challenging healing. <laughs> oh. Okay, what is he? Okay. Stacking. Okay, he's doing his AoE. I'm gonna have my Seraph out just in case because I don't know what's coming up. Okay, is this the same stuff? Okay. Alright, to the circle. Oh, just kidding, he's dead. Woo, that would also be a good thing to keep. Woo, we did it! You are my people, and I will protect you. That's me to y'all, because I'm the healer. Woo. Earrings. Whoa, 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 whoa. The painful memories of war I lay to rest. Oh. War. Endless war. Hooray! We did it! That was a fun boss. Everybody's heading to the castle. Lightning! So much lightning! It is really pretty. Oh gosh. Oh, whoa. Oh, lightning just randomly strikes. <laughs> oh, there's treasure coffer. I didn't get anything. Not me chatting with Ian and standing in danger circles. <laughs> oh no, no, Adam. That was Adam. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Oh, I meant to do this. I meant to do this. And this. And this. Okay, there we go. Let's also do that. Okay. Keep killing now. Five-headed land shark. Does I have... Oh. Whoa. What is that? Does it have five heads? It has one head. That's just its horns. Please die. There we go. Alright, shall we continue? Ooh, purple. Please hurry. My family, they're over there. Thanks for wanting to come do the dungeon with me, guys. I'll just put that on you so I don't have to focus. Oh, <laughs> you're fine. It's uh, not out of the ordinary. There's like a giant shark that we fight in... Uh, Endwalker? When do we fight the giant shark, chat? What, what, what dungeon was that? We were in... It looks like a heart. <laughs> what dungeon was that? I can't, I can't remember. Acadim Academia Ander spelling? <laughs> One of those. Something like that. Yeah, I had the sharks. It's the red shark and the blue shark. Didn't have five heads, though. Um, ow. The music is so nice. 
Yeah, I'm doing Alexandria. This is my first time doing Alexandria. I'm in I'm in a really nice group of uh, with my friends, so we are going. Uh, they're listening to my instruction of what to do when I don't know what to do. So first boss was so bad I died three times. The airship barrier won't be enough. Oh no. Oh no. I also love that y'all give me time to watch. <laughs> oh, there's another treasure coffer up here. So we're living, reliving her trauma. Fantastic. Okay, what's what do we got coming up? Corrupted memory cache. Oh, amalgam. An upgrade. <laughs> Are y'all singing Baby Shark? Oh, Street Shark. All right. Um. Whenever you're ready, see. Level five, you say. Electro wave. Shield. Disassembly. Uh. Oh. oh, it's another AOE. Okay. All right. Uh, spinning. Of the what? Oh. 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 Okay, avoid the triangle. <laughs> it traps you in it. Okay, we'll just have to. Wait, what's the square? So, oh, okay, okay. Square is center attack. All right. Oh, 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 oh. get off the sides. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Got it. Okay, got a got a triangle action where they trap you in. We got the center and the side attack. All right. Ow. Why does it do so much damage? Holy cow. Okay, where? Oh, there's these. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, go forward. Oh, my God. I'll go to the end. Y'all know this mechanic. I don't have to teach y'all that. Okay. Or, I don't have to tell y'all that. What is that? Oh, center. Out of the center. <laughs> sorry. Stop it. I'm sorry. You were following me. Okay. <laughs> It's fun. Oh, it's not. This isn't easy. Um, healing. We have. We take so much damage. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Wait, does it follow us? How dare you? Oh my god. How? How dare you? Oh, over here. Oh, but but here, back here. Oh, and then spread out. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing a good call out session. I'm not saying it very well, but I think y'all get. Oh, y'all. Oh, stack. But you're fine. <laughs> I think some of the simple mechanics, like knowing when to dodge. Okay, sinner. I can't teach all that. Oh, okay. Let's get off to the side. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Let's always center back up. Uh-huh. Electro wave. All right, electro wave my butt. Freaking does so much damage. Actually, that wasn't so bad. The other one was worse. A lag It's almost dead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Push. Push. Breathe. And push! He's probably gonna do the... Oh, no, he's dead. Oh. Oh, well, okay, dodge that. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, you're good. Okay. Woo! Oh, that one was easier than the first boss. You will all live on. <sighs> oh. Whoa. What in the... Oh, she's glitching. And at the last, my final... 
Endless. What? What was that? Cubes everywhere. Yes. Glitches. Thankfully, the berry protects us from lightning these days. Without it, there's no way we could come salvaging like this. Oh, salvaging. Oh, look at all the water. Another beautiful day beneath ever keeps... Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Thanks, Taco. There's a few dungeons in this region where I feel the first boss is worse than the rest of the dungeon. Yeah! I feel that way too. There was another one earlier. Um, I don't remember which one. Where it was just the first boss that was hard. All the other ones were like, not bad. But I could like figure them out a lot easier. What was the other boss that one hit wipe, one hit wipes you? Oh, thanks, Steven. I just saw that. <laughs> the second one felt like a Genshin boss. I don't play Genshin, I wouldn't know. But yeah, an alliance raid is mostly the third boss. That's the raid killer. Oh, an alliance. Ooh. When are we going to get new alliance raids? Man, I haven't gotten anything. They've done it. They kidnapped the queen. Oh, they've done it. They the made her queen into an endless. Did you hear the rumors about the queen? Are they gonna keep talking? No gear. Call out, boss. What do you mean? Because I'm not calling out good enough. That's true. I think New Alliance Raid is November. Oh yeah, it's gonna be Final Fantasy XI theme. Ooh. <gasps> A bracelet! Yeah! <laughs> That'll be fun. I can't wait. I love doing the Alliance Raids. They'll be fun. Stressful. But fun. Always stressful. Always. I don't know if I've never not been stressed <laughs> in this game. And that's okay. It's expected. I feel like maybe I would have, I wouldn't be as stressed if I was a DPS. But, eh, knowing my personality, <laughs> I'd probably be stressed being a DPS as well. It's when you have, like, it. It's when, I think the most amount of stress I ever experienced from this game is like when it's all eyes on you. Like when you have the mechanic and you're the reason why the raid all wipes. Hate it. Hate it. Hate that. I hate having eyes on me. Like I'll heal you, but f don't look at me. I hate when that happens. You know, like back in the days, where we would do, I don't know, which one, which alliance, we have to drop the meteor in a good spot. I forgot which that one is, but I remember hating that so much. All right, we got to the last, I'm assuming this is the last boss. Oh, oh, we got grabby hands, eliminator. We got a sword and we got a little robot. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can already do the yeah i want to do the new raid um but we'll have to wait um oh boy what are these things on the ground all right whenever y'all are ready time to get eliminated <laughs> yay Nine security protocol okay Disruption. I'm gonna dis- What was that? Alright, sir. Um, energy. Okay, sword. Oh, ow! Okay. Uh, y'all got lucky there. I did not know. Okay, he's gonna stand on that side, so I'll just stand on this side. Okay, alright. Pay attention. 
All right. Oh, great. Subroutine. Okay, stay out of the center. Uh, and then stay off. Uh, oh! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Y'all are trying so hard to keep up with me. Okay. What are you acquiring? Get out of that. No alien. No! Oh! Just kidding! <laughs> Whoops! I thought they were trying to pick us up! I thought it was literally trying to pick us up! Okay, alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, this is actually a good time. I need to go use the restroom. Um, <laughs> I am enjoying it. This is so much fun. Okay, so when that... I'm gonna call it the alien thing. So it had a clear circle that we just stand in. And then after that, we were... And then there was an AOE. So we have to do that, and then we have to spread out. So, okay. You know, I should have known that you're supposed to stand in the center, seeing that it made the entire arena dark. <laughs> like... Duh. Oh well, you live and learn, right? Or maybe you die and learn. Um, I'm ready. When, whenever you're ready, see. Okay. Okay. Let me give us a shield at the beginning. Oh, I was too slow. Oh well. Attempting to remove my incision. Oop. Oop, I almost said <laughs> in the right area. Well, we're good. We're good. I honestly forgot that happened, but we're good. I was busy focusing on shielding. All right, avoid the grabby hands and watch where, yes, watch where the sword ends up. Got it. Fine. Okay, center and then spread out. Or, or not center, but you know, go in here and then spread out. Yeah, we did it. All right, and then, oh, jeez. Okay, and then, yeah, obviously stack. Jeez. Oh, I have seraphism now. Oh, okay. All right, let's stand in this, um, okay. Uh, here, and then spread out, but stay out of the center. Oh, oh, we need to hit these things. Oh, hit the generators. Hit the generators. Hit the generators. Yeah. Maybe we should all focus. Let's focus. Focus on one of them. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Spread out. Whoa. Okay. Can we dodge that? Oh, okay. And then let's all... Yeah, stack. I don't know if I can AOE that. Oh. Did we do it? Did we, were we fast enough? Did we kill them all? Oh goodness. That doesn't look good. Alright. Um, shield. <laughs> Man, I am so not used to using Seraphism, but I like it. I'm gonna do it. I'm an angel! I'm an angel, Chad! Look at me! I'm an angel! What do I, what do I do? What can I do again as an angel? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, okay, avoid that. Avoid the blue circle. Oh, but spread, ah! Spread out. Oh, stay out of the center, because of the hand. Oh. Um. Well, darn it. <laughs> I really became an angel. <laughs> no! Dang it, the, the, okay, 
you have to pay attention to the sword. Darn it! Do y'all want... Can y'all die? In the nicest way. Um, let me read this again. Okay, it changes add low to minus... Oh, so it just changes the name. Okay. Okay, so it changes add low and... My AoE heal. And it resets my... Uh, emergency chat. I never use this. I'm so bad. Um, okay. And it gradually restores HP of self and all party members within a radius. Like immediately when I use it and it lasts, that lasts for 20 seconds. Okay. I haven't, I've actually haven't used, I haven't used that skill. Passive AOE regen, insta, add low, and sucker. <gasps> oh yeah, it, right, it makes it instant. That's like my, oh shoot, heal button. Okay, I need to move that button. Um, all right, let's try again. Sorry. Hi, Marissa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I honestly would love if the scholar would turn into a fairy versus an angel because it, you know, makes sense because we can summon a fairy, but I'm not going to complain and angel is still just as pretty. All right, stay on this side. There you go. And then this side. I'm I'm confident now. Commencing extermination sequence. Attempting extermination via multiple armaments. And over here. I'm gonna go to the right. Do with that information as you will. Whee! Okay. <laughs> All right, stack. Ow. <laughs> I'm lagging. Commencing final attack sequence. All right, everybody focus on the same thing. All right, uh, stay in the center and then move out. I'm gonna go to the left. Okay. Oh, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. But just stay out of the center. We don't get the AOE again. Okay. Okay, uh, stay out of the center. I need to watch. Oh yeah, this happens. I will always move, so don't worry. We didn't kill one, but maybe it's okay. Initiating final attack protocol. Ugh, this, this scares me. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. What happens next? I forgot. Is this where I die? Subroutine. Okay. Oh, this pushes us back. So it pushes you back and then, yes. Good. And then stay out of, er, uh. Oh God. Go out, go out, go, 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 go. No, 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 I went to the room. <laughs> I thought his stupid sword was on this side. Side. Dang you! He moved it! Last time it was on that side! I could swear it was on that side. Alright. Can y'all die and we redo it? <laughs> Darn it! Dang it, I even gave everybody expedient, assuming that I was gonna be on that side. Dang it! I was so confident. Ah! All right, try again. <sighs> I 
I should I should have used Seraphism at that moment. I think I'm gonna I think I'm well I think before that moment actually because I was kind of distracted healing everybody because it kind of does a lot of damage in that one area. I was confident. Yes, you jinxed it because <laughs> I was too confident. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I blame lag? Is that a thing? a little preview at the beginning they're like this sword you can easily dodge it now but guess what okay so I'm probably gonna do less call outs since we've already seen this but <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the right. So dodge everyone after this. Ow, I just now noticed that also had a freaking sword. Why didn't I notice that earlier? The heck? Why did I notice that earlier? I never noticed that. Now I do. Man, that, that sword is so hard for me. Okay, so there's a sword during that scene, too. Okay. Alright. Generator. Well. Avoid the center. There you go. After the center. Man, I'm doing such a horrible job at targeting. For some reason, my targeting is not on its game. Oh, gosh. Oh. Good job. Ugh, now what? Initiating final attack protocol. I hate I hate you when you do this, boss. Okay, alright, what's he gonna do? Alright, the blue's gonna appear, and then we're gonna be shot off, so make sure to dodge that. I'm gonna stay in the center. I feel like we should kinda like, stay in the center ish, because we don't know where his sword's gonna go. That probably makes sense, right? Like, stay center ish, and they're gonna get knocked back, right? And then, and then pay attention to where his stupid sword's going. Oh, it's going to the other side. So come on this side. Wait, how did I die? Oh my god. Ah! I was paying attention. I didn't see how I died. How did I die? Wait, how did I, did I, what did I, did I, what? Did I just take too much damage? Oh, I went into the wall. Oh, and it was the dot. Oh. <sighs> okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh my god, that part's so hard for me. <laughs> I was so, I was so focused on the darn sword. Ugh. Too focused. All right, all right. Pay, pay attention to the wall. Thank you for dying, Adam. Thank you for everybody for dying. Sorry that your equipment probably not a good tunnel vision. <laughs> it was tunnel vision. Uh, <laughs> happy to help. <laughs> happy to die. <sighs> that per that push. So okay. So maybe I was right that the push should actually push us to a corner versus pushing us in the center. 
because I didn't die last time from that, so maybe we still do that. How about two people go to that corner and two people go to that corner and then we spread out. And then I'll use Expedient so that you can run wherever the sword doesn't show up. Good? Who wants to go to that corner with me? I don't even know if we have to choose a corner. I think it, we have enough time to move around, so I don't think it's necessary. Um, <laughs> is it gonna read it? It doesn't. Adam sacrificing himself like the hero that he is. Thanks, Plastic. I love your name in the game, by the way. I just now noticed that today. I don't know if you changed it, or maybe it's always been like that, but I never really noticed. All right, whenever you're ready, see. Ah, uh, Aaron! Thank you for the 80 month resub. Hi. Thank you. How are you doing? USA, Germany. Oh, they're tied right now. Oh, you can just do knockback. Oh, you're right. I could just do surecast. Oh, wrong side. Oops, sorry. I I tricked you. That was my fault, Adam. I moved. I moved fast enough. <laughs> I was reading chat. Little <laughs> fam, you have been. I have been removed several times. Dodge the center and dodge the right half. East. All right, focus mode. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go to the right. Do, no, I'm not. I'm not going to the right. I'm gonna dodge the sword. I, cause I remember. Ha <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Learning from failure. Alright. Focus on the right generator. So stay in the center and then get out of the center. Like always. Focus on the N generator. N, and then M, yeah, and then M, and then Q, and then L. Sorry, I'm trying to put my dot on it. Okay, oh yeah, this happens too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, L, and then P, get P, get that P. Wow, we did so good there. I'm proud of us. I don't know how much damage this does, but... Not much. Alright. Alright, get... Pick a corner. Any corner. Don't get hit by the stupid wall! Like me. Okay, I'm just mad at myself. And, um, oh wait, or short cast. Actually, short cast, if you can. All right, and then uh, where is he gonna move his stupid sword? So far, the sword's on that side. There you, okay. Oh. All right, now what? What do you mean, annihilation? What the heck is going on? What the? Whoa. Uh, don't stand on the lines. Ow! Okay. That was not so bad. Okay. Oh. Alright, get out of this circle. Go north. Oh, wow. He did this stupid sword there and I didn't even notice. I got lucky! Alright, stand on- always stand on the opposite side of his stupid sword, okay guys? <laughs> Where'd 
What is he doing now? Oh no, not again. I can't do sure cast. Darn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, stand out of the center. Oh, he's, he's moving! He's moving his thing! <laughs> no! <laughs> he's moving his sword. That's what I was trying to get at. Hold on. Oh my goodness, I need assistance. I don't understand what this is. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Is it just the lines get bigger? I need to see that s slowed down. Okay, get out of the center after and stay to the left. Or, well, actually, always have stayed to the left. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. It's all, it's almost dead. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. All right, I got Adam up. No, kill it. Kill it. Yeah, limit break. Yeah. We are finally. Woo, we did it. Ooh, that was a rough boss for me. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, guys. That was fun. I need to understand the line thing better, but I'll, I'll figure it out later. Obviously, don't stand in the center of the lines. I think the lines kept getting bigger and bigger. So, I don't know. We gotta move. Oh, we did it! Woo! Hallelujah! Yay! Um, wait, Brandon, you can't log in? What the heck? Why? <laughs> Thanks, guys! Go team, we definitely all did it together with equal support from all of us for sure. Yeah! <laughs> I severely overthought the line mech too. I thought it was three triangles late. Wait, yeah, it's not. It's literally just don't stand on the lines. Okay, I don't have that phone number anymore. You can contact Twitch support. Um, I got, oh, I think it was earrings that dropped. All right. Uh, yay, us. Um, let's take a photo. Don't leave, 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 don't leave. Okay. Thank you. So I had to shout as fast as I could. Let's all take a photo in this corner. I'm already gone. Adam! <laughs> Just find somebody that looks like a dead body. <laughs> I'll Photoshop you in. Just go do it again and take a photo in this corner and I'll just Photoshop you in, Adam. You know my Photoshopping skills. <laughs> All right, do a pose. All right, um. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my God. Fancy smancy. <laughs> Getting it before the crazy stuff happens so I can easily Photoshop Adam in. I'm gonna title it Photoshop Adam. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. What is that? Back out. Oh, you don't want me to do that one? But that looks cool though. You don't want me to do I like it. I can Photoshop I'll Photoshop out Adam right here. Adam! When you go back in the dungeon, whenever you have time, just go here and play dead. It'll be easier for me to crop your body out. Deal. Oh, it's the limit break. Oh, it freaking looks awesome. I'm in Gridania. I'll find some greenery to green. Oh, <laughs> that too. You're right. You don't have to be in the dungeon. Um, you can be anywhere. Thanks, by the way, for doing the dungeon with me. I appreciate it. If I could calm y'all, I would calm y'all. But I can't. Thanks, 
search for the follow, Colt. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Is it gonna be like a trial right after, like the other one? Oh boy. Deletion. Wow. Is this what the inside of her brain looks like? Since she's AI, or an endless AI. Endless. Steen. Steen. Let me turn it up. Steen, listen to me, please. Hold on, let me turn it up. This is important. I'm oh, afraid no. she's gone. That's. Synchronization will soon be complete. Uh oh. Oh. Oh god. Overwritten and reconfigured. All shall be well, henceforth and in perpetuity. <laughs> Forever will I keep and cherish my people. To that end, I have removed the remaining checks upon my authority. to the plan will be summarily removed. Wait, I still have it set. Be gone from my presence. What? What did she do to them? Wait, don't tell me she deleted them. Did she move them? Wait, why am I only here? All right, you're gonna According get it. According to Eliminator's battle data, you pose the single greatest threat. That's right. I'm gonna take you down. As I don't need such, their help. You will be erased here and now. Oh God. Wait, so we really immediately go in the trial? Oh! Well, I didn't notice that before. All right. I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sveen of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. She was felt so human before. Ooh, glowy. Is that concern or suspicion? <laughs> if things should take a turn for the worse, I'm shutting you down. That's sad. I like speed. I know what I have to do. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. Ooh. Relic. 
Alec! The Goblet of Fire! Ooh, this is so good. This is good. Gotta use my same crystal. Alright, who wants to come? God, always, every single time, these are always, they always nail it. Freaking so good.
I mean, it makes it faster if you just send me a whisper, and then I can just add you. I need one more. But actually, hold on, we need to figure out what can everybody do. <laughs> um, who's the other tank? Okay, so T is one tank. Todd is the other tank. Todd can switch if somebody else, but it's fine. Um, and then we need, oh, Effin and me are the healer. And then we just need DPS. So we need one more DPS. Yeah, we need one more DPS. Not Nivya? Nivya? You wanna come? Bard here? Oh my god, all of you guys are wanting to help me! Y'all are so kind! Are y'all gonna still be okay for me to tell y'all where to, what to do? But it's a trial. <laughs> this might be really hard for me to tell y'all where to go. Um, I'll just say whoever whispers me first, I'll add you to the party. Otherwise, it's kind of hard for me to choose. But we just need, we need one more um, DPS. We have a uh, Pictomancer, um, a Dragoon, a Summoner. So anything is fine. Even if it's the same thing, it's not going to be It is Final Boss Vibes, Josh. Friendship Power Circle, always. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so I'm on Excalibur. If y'all want to move to Excalibur and send me a whisper, Miss Kylie with one E is my name. You're fine, Keen. You're sweet. You have seven jobs at level 100 if you need a change. Oh, okay. I think we'll be fine. A red mage would be cool. Oh, true. So then, but. Oh, a red mage and a summoner because we'll die a lot. <laughs> Is that why you're saying it? Yeah, probably a... Wait, summoners can revive too, right? Summoners and red mages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'm on the last spot. I hate that it cleans... I hate that it had to come to this. I really like her. You're in queue, Dory. I'm waiting. I'm nervous, though. Um, we might die a lot. Are y'all okay with that? <laughs> um, I need a repair. No, I don't. I'm fine. I'm just. <laughs> DPS check on the boss. Um, there might be a DPS check. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. How else can you learn but to die a few times? True, hippie. <laughs> Put the respawn mechanic to work. Respawn mechanic. <laughs> I wish. Um, SUV, I think it's okay. I think we have another person in queue right now coming to. Oh, just kidding. We have. Is that, is that you, Nivya? Havian, Tarman. You all are so sweet. I really appreciate you, S SUV, for trying to come. Okay, we're good. Hi. Yeah, okay. So who here has done this before? I think all of y'all have, but I'm just double checking. You've done it, not taught. Shut up, Todd. Um, you'll follow me. Okay, here, hold on. Let me put a Dorito on me. Oh, wait, I can't put my Dorito. Maybe I have to do it inside. Um, probably all but you. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm just double checking. Thank you, SUV. I appreciate you doing that. Okay. All right, let's go in. Are we all good? Are we all set? Everybody good? Oh, we have two summoners. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah! Okay. Wow! I have never done a trial with eight people I know from stream and that I'm the leader. <laughs> the 
is uh <laughs> scary. Hmm. This will be my first time. I don't think I've ever ever experienced something like this. Usually we always have have like other people that know what to do already. The worlds have been glitched. Be at ease, everyone. Your ether will soon be replenished. Go team! Look at us! Who has the bunny head on? <laughs> I will suffer no interference. Disappear.
yeah, yeah. Dodge. Yeah. Oh my god, short cast! Don't fall off the platform! You fell off the platform! <laughs> Uh, F it, thanks, okay. I could revive. Oh, oh god. Um, don't fall off. And why am I the only one that went over here? Okay, that's fine. Stay in the center. You didn't fall off. No, you... I got you. That was fun. I don't know how the heck I... Don't die. Yeah, that's the main mechanic. Don't die. Oh, okay. Uh, one of you go... Uh, yeah, uh, Ramza, go to that corner over here. And Todd, go stay there. Oh, God. Go to the corner! Go to the corner! Okay. Yeah. All right, stay to the left. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I don't know where Rams or where you're supposed to stay. All right, to the right. But you did good. You listened. You, listened. you died though. Sorry. Here, I'll get. I got you. You're good. All good. Nothing happened. All right, Todd. Yes. Huh? I don't know where you're supposed to stand when you have those things connected to you. Are you supposed to make an M or like a V? Or an H? Okay, dodge the right and... Uh, dodge the right. Two times. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow. What? Oh my god, get on the platform! I don't know what platform. Wait, what? Uh, oh, get in a hole. Get in a hole. Oh! Gravity increases, making you fall. Oh, we're gonna fall. Okay. Oh, oh get in the corner. Or get in the, the window. Get in the window. Whoa, this is cool. Oh, another window. Oh, no, get this window. Do not be afraid of death. Oh my god, dodge that. How do you do this? Can we go across to the other platform? Dodge! Go, no, 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 no. Oh, we can, we can move to the other platform. Okay. Okay, sorry for yelling. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, it's gonna move us again. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Coronation. Oh, what? Okay, dodge that. I need to like. Oh, okay. Dodge the right and then the left. But what? Why coronation? Okay. Dodge right. Oh god, what's happening? Dodge the center. What is that? No, dodge. Dodge the. No, go in the center. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't sound good. Are you still alive? I'm gonna put a shield and target area of the Commencing the race. Why? Oh my god. Get ready to heal, Evan! I don't know. Oh my god. Uh go! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you 
know what? Limit break. You know what? That's not a bad idea. No, we'll be fine. I oh my god. We'll be fine. I have Angel on. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Make up your mind. I, I made up my mind. Don't use it yet. We're fine. Oh god, what's happening now? It's like it gave me a break. That was great. All right, corner, 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 corner. Okay, side, uh, left, right, 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 <laughs> side. What? Circle! No, left, oh, left side, we're fine. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> How did I survive that other thing? That was crazy. Y'all didn't follow the Dorito, <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, dodge the circles. Dodge the circles. If it's chasing you, make it go away from everybody else, and then dodge. Yeah. Pay attention to her. Yeah, pay attention to whatever the heck this is. so much going on. It's okay, we're alive. We're alive and doing well. Wow, we're actually, I, we're actually doing this. Cool. What's next? I want that other thing to happen again. That was fun. Okay, dodge the left twice. Stay on the right. I know, I like the whole thing, that was cool. I'm gonna shield us, absolute authority. Oh, kill it! Why is it going so slow? No, 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 is the crazy stuff happening again? Oh shoot, I asked for that. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't know what this is like on extreme, how fun. Oh. Uh, shield? Uh, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Yeah, go in the corner! Wait, what happened? Did we do Is it? We did it! Is reality? Er. Has she lost control of the power? Whoa. Steve, did we do it? Listen to me. What? Ooh. Ooh. I understand. I do. And I know that you won't be swayed from your course. Oh no, watch out! But if there's truly no other way to resolve this... Whoa, look at Wukuma! Then face me, not as a machine, but as the real you. Backup is here. Lamachi. This is what I desire, and I will not fail. We're not done? We're not done! Go! I can't bear to lose them. Get in up, get in up. Up, 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 up. Whoa, the music I is... I feel your pain. I like as it. As if it were my own. Oh my god, get back! Get back! Ow, get to the sides! Last, I think I oh wait, you. actually, net, go to the All center! Of you. How can you say that to me now? I can't pay attention to what she's saying. I'm focusing. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's okay. over, Okay, Steen. uh, uh, center we and then side. Side, 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 side! I won't let you! I can't! Oh! Up, 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 up. I will protect my people's happiness! Girl, they don't Leave that burden with us now! 
We will bear it in your stead. <laughs> oh. uh, we'll come back to limit break. Should we limit break? Not yet, right? Okay, yeah. And dodge. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yay! Ooh, the music changed though. It's like rock, metal, heavy metal. It sounded cool. Woo! They were cooking in the studio, that's for sure. Ooh, wow. for my first um, trial. <laughs> uh, not good. Okay, everybody pose. Everybody do a pose. Everybody pose. I'll wait. Do a pose. It is so slept on, Otaku. This is so good. Time to pose. Posing. Pose. I've been doing this for every single dungeon and trial so far. Ah. <sighs> My heart was like, Bleh. okay. All right, let's. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Hold on, let me get it at a good time. All right, almost, almost. Let's wait, wait, wait for it. Wait, wait for it. There we go. Okay, hold on. Let me check to make sure this looks good. Hold on. Hold. Hold. I need to get my Discord up. Hold on. Hold. Okay. I usually paste it in here, and then it's just faster that way. Okay, so I can see it. Yes. Did we? Oh my god, I can't believe we did that. I want to do that again. No, that's not good enough. All right, not good enough. Not good enough. There we go. Let me do this one now. Let me... Okay, perfect. All right, I got my shot. I got it. Thanks, guys! Woo, thanks for helping me defeat the queen spleen. I appreciate y'all helping me. Thank you. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Look the mat, are we ready? We're all ready. Also, that looks so sick. That looks so cool. All right, let's keep going. Thanks, guys. It got really quiet. Stay, stay in the party, by the way, if you can. I hate the sound of people leaving. <laughs> I'm doing it. Don't leave. Speed. Your voice reached me, Lamachi. Is it... Is it really you? No, only in part. My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However, I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry for the suffering I've caused your people and mine. I am ultimately powerless against the inevitable. 
unable to do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature. One that should never have been created. Strove to make your people happy. You carry too many gentle memories. You're merely a system created to sustain Alexandria. No. No, this one. You strove to make your people happy. Oh. Our nations are worlds apart. So close. Who knows what we could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. I don't want it to end. <laughs> and yet, it could never be so. <laughs> it just hit me. We each had our own to protect. <laughs> oh, that for this. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then. Perhaps. Aww. <laughs> but it's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, <clears throat> I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but... When I'm gone... My people... Will you... We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. That's so nice. <laughs> so be free of your burdens, Sveen. And sleep well. Is this a trick? Is she deleting me now? Oh. Put your name in the goblet of fire! Oh wait, she's giving it to us? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot our soul went in that thing. There's that crystal.
So it was that the meso terminal felt dark, and the endless departed for oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more, as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. Uh, so better sweet. Even so, in a way. They live on. At the cross, no standing here, not standing this I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn. seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. Kyle's parents spoke of the power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sveen's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Me. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. So, the future expansions is us learning about interdimensional travel and going to the different reflections? We By want order to go back of Vaokona, the, the sky deep cenote was placed under the strict watch of the landscape. Oh, how he's With the mighty Bakul Jaja among their number, they shall not want for strength, even in Soralja's absence. Learning of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. Having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, with Wuklama carrying on her legacy, I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. This baby is your new ruler. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. <laughs> yeah, that's expected. Reception was also mixed when Wuklamat came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. Fair enough. But the Mita. people were mollified to learn that Everkeep's systems remained operational, and there would be no impact on their lives. Oh. Really? They're gonna keep the... Okay. 
One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond, may the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family. Yeah, literally. See? <laughs> it's like the Lion King. <laughs> um, they're gonna keep that way of living? Okay. Meanwhile, in Tuliola, the people came together yeah. to hail yeah. the new dawn Clap servant's great victory. Having honored those they lost, they turned their attention to a brighter future and celebrated for three days and nights. Three days and nights. Not a week? Oh, look at them! Look how cute they are! <laughs> More babies! <laughs> Resolved, though. Uh, Those look. who had spent 30 years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. All oh, right. <laughs> but as the new dawn servants continue to lead with strength and wisdom, the people may be assured that peace will endure. If I 
I press escape, it won't skip the scene. I forgot how it worked. <laughs> Where's the beach party? That was the beach party. They just didn't show the beach. Only one skip. It won't, it'll be okay. Okay, they're two hours long. You should be able to skip, okay. Love the music. Uh, skip, yes? Oh, we're at the inn. Oh, the map. What are we looking at? Why am I, why am I puzzled? What? Oh, 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 oh! What's, what's going on? I'm sorry, we haven't been able to talk properly. Oh, between the reconstruction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. Reconstruction work and Papa's funeral? But, at long last, oh, there's a lull in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Where when we, we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. That's for sure. You truly have a knack for finding trouble, my friend. you wouldn't have it any other way. So what's next for you? Assuming you're still set on leaving the Gleaner's life behind? I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories when we meet again in the Ethereal Sea. Sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets, always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. Hmm. You've got it all worked out. And what of you? Any new adventures in the offing? What are we gonna do now? Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijola. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. By now, I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. Your path will always lead you elsewhere, and you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? An adventurer to the marrow you are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? Aww. My love for this star. <laughs> Aww, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> What are they showing us there? The crystal wasn't lit. Oh. Her crown? Oh, it's like breathing. That means she's still alive? Is she still alive? What was that? Jahara! Oh, it's Tom Tom, thank you for the 77 month sub. Hi, Jahara! Hi, hi, Raiders! Wow! We just. We beat Dawn Trail! Wait, I'm technically not done because I have to finish it. <laughs> Wow, thank you for doing the shout out. Everybody, please go follow my friend Jafara Jade. Hi. Hi, guys. What in the 
What does that mean with her crown? Hold on, let me finish. Well, as much as I'd love to keep chatting, I need to keep, I need to get going. It's still a heap of things to do, and it wouldn't do to leave it all to Kona. By the way, did Gulunja decide to remain in Solution 9? He did. I said that he can consider Tuliolo his home, but he's more comfortable over there. Shale keeps an eye on him for us. But we'll visit him as often as we can. He still needs our support, especially while he's agonizing over his inherited authority. Though I told him he needn't make a decision right away, we can't postpone it forever either. I'll do whatever I can to help Gulja as well as everyone inside the dome. I promise as much to speed. For my part, I'll be keeping to Tural for a time. Among other things, I'd like to look into the problem with the wildlife in Shaloni. So if you get the urge, let's go on another journey together. There's still plenty of places I'd like to show you. Now that sounds like fun. If you ever have need of me, I'll come running. Oh, and before I forget, I also have a gift for you. Can you guess what it is? Tacos? Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> An alpaca! It comes from Tobley Stable, of course, and it's a short one. It's like, oh, I swear it was gonna be tacos. Perfect for an adventurer who's always on the move, eh? Here, this is the whistle for calling it. I got an alpaca! You have a theory? I would love to hear y'all's theories. Right, I'll, I'll really get going now, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Till next time, take care. I did it. Oh, wait, there's more? <laughs> I swear it would have been tacos, but I'll take an alpaca. <laughs> I always think it's the end, and then it's not the end. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, these people are looking uh, pretty miserable. Understandably. Fellow citizens of Alexandria, ever since our beloved queen's passing, you have understandably abided in grief. Sorrow darkens your once bright faces. But is this what her majesty would have wished to see? No, most assuredly not. You know this to be true. Is this Galulja? If we are to honor her memory, we must reclaim our smiles. To that end... <gasps> oh! Yeah! Arcadia is open! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> RTX on! <laughs> Stop! Y'all are so funny. Wow, it looks awesome, though. <laughs> I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it either. It does look like a giant graphics card. of the Arcadian. <laughs> Wrangler had a man. The realm's finest, finest stand ready to entertain you in glorious and thrilling combat. Come and join us, I bid you, and let your cares be forgotten. Should I give him, I'm giving him a country action. What in the world? <laughs> Does that say the Arcadian? I love mustache mustaches on Lala Fells. I just, yeah, I know. There's nothing that will not make me smile. Um, whoa. As skies of af flame proclaim night's end and thoughts onto Adventure 10, the brave make haste of. I can't read that fast! Darn it! I was trying. Somebody tell me what that said. 
You have completed the main scenario quest Dawn Trail. Quests to unlock new content have now become available. Additionally, you may now enter Alexandria with a party of NPC avatars. Uh, right, yes. Rest well, seeker of the unknown, for many and more adventures await you. I finished. 100% finished. Woo! So good! I couldn't read that thing that fast thing, though. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, now I have to go enter. Yeah, the Arcadian. How cool. Um, I have to do a couple of... Not right now, but I have to do a couple of... Um, uh, housekeeping. AK, I need to finish eight for current. Wow. I'm almost done now. Um, Jai, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you. So hat peddler will ask again. You want a sunflower hat? Oh, oh, cool. Okay, yeah, sure. WWE superstar. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to do the next. Um. I don't know if I want to do that now because it's already 3.30 and it starts like a whole story, right? So we'll probably have to do the normal raid maybe tomorrow. Am I allowed to leave the party now? Oh my god, yes. Sorry, that was a long time. And y'all all stayed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, sorry. I did not know it was going to be Ain't that long. Oh my god, thank you. Ooh, what color? Oh, can I have an orange one? Wow, there's so many. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh, there's also a rainbow one. Wait, what's the difference between the multicolor and the rainbow? I like this one too. That one and the orange one. Um, <laughs> sorry. You asked and we did it. Y'all are so sweet. I really appreciate y'all staying in the party. <laughs> I, I, I invited all my friends to join the party and I asked them nicely to stay so I wouldn't get that sound effect uh, when all the crazy stuff was happening. Freedom! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, at ease, soldiers, we can finally be at peace. <laughs> Yeah, this one's really pretty. How do you, did you make it, see? How cute. Blink twice, it, <laughs> blink twice if she's keeping you locked in the basement. Oh, you're making it. How, how do you get the one that goes all around your head? <sighs> wow, okay. So, what do we have, any theories on her, um, Tiara. Wait. I have a theory. Oh my god, thank you. I have a theory. I'm assuming that that her tiara was the um what are they called? Regulators. So maybe she's not dead. She's she has an extra soul, so she'll come back to life. But then why was it so fin final then? Hi Jared, thank you! <laughs> I can finally play the game again. Yeah, now I have everything unlocked, so I can I can do everything now. I'm probably gonna continue leveling up my Disciple of Hand and Land and I'll focus on fate grinding and I'll do Aether Currents. I only have one more area for Aether Currents. And I need to do my roll quest. Quest, quest? I don't know how many there are. Um, just for scholar, I'm just gonna do scholar. Um, and then also thank you by the way for the cute hat. I'll have to figure out an outfit to make it go with it. Um, and then I need to do the Arcadian. Uh, how do you unlock the Arcadian? Uh, I'm assuming in solution. It's in. Okay, I'm gonna go there just to see. 
Thank you, Minotaur. As skies of flame proclaim night's end and thoughts onto adventure ten, the brave make haste over hill and dale to trip the dawn light's golden trail. Oh, that's pretty. Interesting. You'll want to do raid and expert dun- Oh yeah, expert dungeon. Wait, expert dungeon? Wait, I have other dungeons to do, don't I? Oh shoot, how do I get the other dungeons? Oh my god, there's actually so much to do now. Oh, is it this? A new challenger appears? It's that one, isn't it? Oh, they're both fantastic. Oh my god, okay. Okay, yeah, that's how you unlock Arcadian, okay. Uh, one unlocks in solution nine. I'm gonna guess it's trial by Spire. I don't even think I have all the Aetherites in this area. I need to go do housekeeping here too. Maybe I do, I don't know. Nah, the other, oh, it's the other one? Uh, this one? Something stray in the neighborhood? I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna look at it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, oh. Okay, so this is a so this is one of the dungeons. Okay. I'll get it in a second. I'm not gonna accept it right now. And then oops. Protraction. Oh yeah, I can't have my Okay, so okay, so one, two What is this one? Nightmare dungeon? Oh no! Really? Okay, and then y'all said the other one was in Toliolo. Let me go find it. I'll probably unlock these tomorrow. Trial by Spire or Training Dummies. Oh, okay. Okay, where is the, where is the one here? Sides of the West? How the West was sung. Uncouth customers. Definitely not that one. It belongs in a museum. Why we hunt, not that one. It's blue plus. They're all blue pluses. The museum one? Oh yeah, you're right. It would be level 100. Duh. Why is that level one? What the heck is that one? Oh. Texas Dungeon? Arizona Texas Dungeon? Yoshi P is by the end for Oh! Oh yeah, and then I have I also have extreme chat. Oh my god, I have so much. What do I have to finish before Tuesday? Oh my god, I have so much. I have so much to do. That's good. Um, what do I focus on first before Tuesday? Normal raid first. Hmm. Just the normal raids if you end up wanting to do Savage. What? Relic weapon? What? Raid and dungeons, normal raids if you want to do savage. I'm still not, I'm still not, I'm not sure. Expert, so you can do expert on Tuesday. Oh, for the cap tomes. But does that mean I have to unlock the other two dungeons before I can do expert dungeons? I forgot how it works. Yes. How, uh, can I really do that all tomorrow? <laughs> I have seven hours. Is it enough? I can finish the normal, oh, it's Arcadian, not long? Okay, even with a story, if I read it. 
Are we good? Okay. All right. How about tomorrow we'll do Arcadian first, and then we'll unlock the other two dungeons and run them. Is there anything else I need before Tuesday? We might need to do dungeons first because item level requirements. Uh, oh yeah. I'm at 682. Oh wait, no I'm not. I'm at 683. <laughs> what a difference. Oh yeah, my, my lamb, a uh, pack of, Oh my god, it's called Smile. I got my alpaca whistle. Uh, I got it. Um, I'll place that one. Um, close, not close. If I do, if I run a dungeon, I'd probably get, I just need probably like two more pieces of gear, I imagine. <laughs> it's so, it's so, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Wee. It's so tiny. Yeah. It's so tiny. <laughs> It's so tiny. It's a dog. <laughs> Stop. It's so tiny. Wee. Oh my god, I love it. Um. My tomes. Wait, what about my tomes? She probably has enough to buy something. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, I have. I did a hunt train. What, this stuff, right? Oh, we're getting all ready. Do y'all want me to do Savage? Oh, it sounds like y'all want me to. I don't mind, but I'd have to find a group. I think, I mean, I... Eh. Um, you got some doing the dungeon and trial too? Yes, you're right. I can buy accessories. Um, get an accessory, you can uh, access the normal tier this way. Okay, where do I buy the accessories? <laughs> but I'll need to practice. I want to, I kind of want to do Savage, but... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Ula, thanks for the 48 months. I love it just like me, 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 me. <laughs> oh. Here. Oh, okay. Okay, one, one second. I'm going, I'm going. Ula, how are you? Thanks for 48 months. <laughs> I also don't have that outfit. I don't know if I want it, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I, I don't have that outfit from the last boss encounter. I don't know if I want it though. Come back to Texas from Hawaii, sick. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better, Hula. Um, Homestone Exchange, here we go. What do I buy? Let's see. This is, I mean, the story is so good, but I, I can imagine how many people play Final Fantasy XIV and think this is like the real content. <laughs> you know, this is like the fun stuff after the expansion is doing all the extremes and the savages and and the grinding and the gathering and the color and the fishing and the glamour but still I'm sad that it's over because now we gotta wait um how 
much better? That's item. These are all item level 700. Probably some earrings. Replace lowest. Oh, my ring. 666. The devil ring. Can I buy two of these rings? What does this outfit look like? Oh. like it I don't like it uh 685 okay I'm 685 so now I can do the arcade 685 right yeah wow I literally only needed a ring I mean to be fair it was item level 666 so uh I finished the 12 part side wait 12 part side quest wait what SCP <laughs> oh I play on Excalibur Cameron I can buy the weapon, it's up to me. Do I have enough? Oh, I do, I have 600. Wait, is this the best weapon for right now until I, uh, until, I don't know, extreme? Yeah, okay. Unless you do extreme trial. I'm gonna do extreme try, try, <laughs> extreme trial. That'll be fun. But how should we do it? That's the question. Should I do it on stream? Raid leader? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I'll do normal, but <laughs> no. Oh my god. Now that would be a challenge. I don't even know how y'all kept up with me in that last trial. I don't, I literally don't know how. <laughs> I was like, left corner! And it's like delayed. <laughs> I don't know how y'all did it. Um. <sighs> The crafted gear releasing on Tuesday will be best for Prague. Does anybody want to make me crafted gear? Hello. Oh my god, it's Princess Peach. Ooh, I'm in her skirt. Oh my god, and she has a little toadstool as her minion. Wait, that's cute. I'm gonna get out from under her skirt though, that's weird. Too many lights in my face. That Dorito was too short. I was busy eating myself off the platform. <laughs> there was still one mechanic in the last dungeon. No, we got the last dungeon un understood. The trial where you have to, there's like an X platform. No, it was like this. No, it was like not really an X, but you know how there's two sides? I didn't understand where the people had to sit that had the little mark on them. Because it created a line. I did not understand that. I didn't understand that. I have, I'll, I'll have to do it again. But, I mean, in extreme, it doesn't even matter. Because it's going to be completely different, right? <gasps> USA 4, Germany 1. Wow, they're doing so good. 
Uh, if you're not doing week one savage, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh yeah, okay. That's fair, I don't need crafted gear then. I don't even have a group. I don't have a group. Ugh. It's too late to join a group, isn't it? But then I have to... my rotation um, I would have to learn my rotation and then I would need to practice I think I would need to get my part can I talk about that on stream um I need to get my number high and the only way to do that was probably to do that for extreme fights right Oh, you pull away from each other. Ah, it causes the thing to shift. Ah, okay, I guess I didn't see that. There's no extreme for speed until 7.1, which is on Tuesday. But you can still do the extremes for the first two. It's not too late to join a group if you're the one making the group. Adam! <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't have no experience ra uh, uh, leading a raid group like that for extreme. Actually, I do have some experience, but that was like back in 2015. And we fought Rafflesia. Rafflesia. Is Sono here? Sono, do you remember that? You talking about your cousin who's good at math? Wait, you... Oh yeah, my cousin that's so, yeah, my cousin that's good at math. Do I need that number to be high so they can calculate it? <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. I don't need to get my number high. Yeah, but no, Todd, you do. Cause when I've, well, maybe you're right. Maybe I don't have to, but some groups, they use that as a way to see if you know what you're doing, but this girl has the wildest memory. <laughs> what, mine? <laughs> um, any group that is good does not focus solely on parse. Okay, you're right. Not nearly as high as people expect from others. Mechanics are most important. Okay. Well. I have cleared ultimate. I have. That'll go on my Final Fantasy resume. I've done. What have I done? How can I see? How do I see? I've done this, 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 this. But then we never, I never did these. So I, you know, that's how it's always been. I've always done savage. I've always done the first four savages, always, literally. And then I never do the rest because the group never stays together that long. And it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I promise. They always break up because of drama or something. Um, or people just don't want to do it. I've never rated all three tiers in an expansion. Yeah, it's always four. But I've done this, so check. And I've done ultimate. Where do you see that? Where do I? Where did, where? Oh. There. This one. This one. This one. I've done that one. If you can infinity wipe with a group and not hate life, it's a good group. That is true. Eden's the only savage you tried. Eden was a good one. Are y'all gonna, who's he, who here is gonna do savage when it comes out? Who's like, ready Freddy? Effin. Here, actually, let me.
<laughs> Might be really difficult to do that, but hey, we did it last time. Um, I'm a week one slave, but then I'm free. What does that mean? What does that mean? I plan on party finding Savage this tier. Yeah, so that's another, that's another idea. How do you do that? How do you, how, how? How do you do that? I mean, I know, I know how to actually mechanically do that. You just go with the party finder, but like, how does one, cause it's a pretty stressful fight. And then you, really, you've been gathering and crafting so much. Clear week one, less hours for re-clears. You open party finder, no, 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 I know that. And then you go into the fight and then wipe. That's not what I'm talking about. Party finder is a lot more of a gamble. gamble. You just have to be determined, resilient. It's feasible. easy to get discouraged. Yeah, then people just leave, right? But do we all get on Discord? Who's the leader? <laughs> how do we... How, how do you do that when you don't know what to do? <laughs> I guess you find it at find out. And there's always party finder strats, right? So... Oh yeah, but well, that's awesome that you're doing that, Mino. It's just an I I'm trying to think of other ideas for me. Cause uh I'm not doing anything. So it would be fun to experience that again. Anybody need a scholar for their savage group? I'm experienced and I'm nice. I'm not the greatest healer, but I'm not bad either. Usually leader, someone takes initiative. You see it, you've got that special quality inside you that makes you feel guilty if you do, do bad. I've always had that in my, in my whole life experience, Adam. <laughs> not just in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Some people don't have that feeling inside. Oh yeah, they're like, haha, sucks, or, or they blame it on other people. Right? I'm like, no, I'll make, I'll be like, no, that's my bad. I'll, I'll own up to it. Hit up Joy and Vic. Vic and Joy hang out? They'll be in Party Finder maybe with each other. <laughs> you got one more for the girl gang. <laughs> Um, we'll see. I, I might try to find a group first, Todd. We'll see. I was just like, from... Because, like, I can't necessarily... I mean, it doesn't even mean that I'll find a group. So, I wonder. It's not like we're going to finish it. <laughs> first try. If my static didn't IR have IRL stuff distracting them this tier, I would be doing the tier with them. Ah, I see. Another thing is that frog groups are often better than farm groups. Why? I mean, I can, uh, hmm. why, actually? We'll explore the options, okay. <laughs> Joy! <laughs> Vic, you want me to heal? <laughs> because they're constantly practicing and not full of ego. Yeah, and if you get upset, you can just leave. Yeah, if you're in a raid group, it's it kind of, it gets so awkward when somebody gets really upset. Not my last raid group was awesome. I never had explos explosive people, but I would say like my second raid group I ever had, there was one person that would constantly like get so angry that we would have to stop. It was awkward as heck. Um, I didn't like that group. 
I didn't stay in that group for very long. Um, but there's people like that. And it was like scary yelling. Um, mainly he was mad at himself. And that was the bigger problem. Because you can't, yeah. It's group therapy more than reading. It really felt like that sometimes. It's like, all right, everybody, let's take a deep breath together on one, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that was interesting. Um, but I didn't stay too long with them. Um, they disbanded anyways. Again, not my fault. But I was really happy to be like, oh, we're disbanding. Okay. <laughs> Some of them I still keep in contact with. Um, Definitely need a safe word. <laughs> oh no. Anyways. Wow, this was fun. I want to keep playing, but we have a movie night at 5. We're watching the Lizzie McGuire movie. If you guys would like to join. We do movies every Sunday at 5 p.m. And uh, we, I made a poll um for this movie and uh the poll has said lizzie mcguire shall be the movie we watch today so we're gonna be watching the lizzie mcguire movie at 5 p.m central time if y'all would like to come um haven't <laughs> i don't remember the last time i've seen that movie so we'll be watching that i'll probably play some more final fantasy off stream i'll probably unlock the rest of my aether currents now that i'm done Looking for a shield healer, but they didn't want someone who was new. That makes me sad, Astra. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll be streaming more tomorrow. Um, we'll play more Final Fantasy XIV. We'll do the um, Arcadian. We'll start Arcadian. And then we'll also unlock the two other dungeons and whatever else we'll do. We'll do some other stuff too, probably. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you for helping me figure out when to beat the story. That was awesome. Y'all were so, y'all were like on the mark when it, in terms of how long it would take. Y'all were like so good with that. So I appreciate it. <sighs> Yay. Expectations important when joining statics. Good, they brought that up at the beginning. That is true. That is true. 